Hello, precious people of God. Trust you are doing well by the grace of God. We thank God for yet another day to spend time with Him, another day to commune with Him. I want us to take a short exercise, and that is, I want you to click on that like button to help spread this good news abroad. I want you to help us share this good news, and that YouTube will also recommend this channel, this video to others, and they will also be a blessing. Also, let's take a short reading from Job chapter 38, verses 12. It says, Has thou commanded the morning since thy days, and then caused the day spring to know its place? Now, this tells us of the great opportunities, of the great blessings we enjoy as children of God when we speak into our day. And so, it is what we are about to do. Open your heart, be alert, prepare your spirit as we receive inspiring messages from the man of God, Apostle Joshua Selman. Also, if you are new here, hit on that subscribe button for us and then on that notification bell. Keep sharing this message abroad, keep sharing on Facebook, keep sharing on YouTube to invite others to join us as we bless the world. You are a blessing. Thank you. We are handing it over to God like we handed over everything and said, Lord, it's yours. Give it wings. Let it bless people. And it's also a way to help us manage some of these very ungodly, these karmas that continue to go around parading as Joshua Selman, parading as... as um, you see, if you claim you are me, what fights me will also look for you this is this is what people don't know there are there are all kinds of revelations when god calls a man he knows what fights that man and he puts a grace it's like a vaccination so when you claim you are me i don't mean like in this in the spirit in the physical to deceive people you are announcing the realm of the spirit that whether they see me or see that person any one of them you see that? It's the same mystery in marriage. And so, some of these foolish people don't know what they are doing to themselves. You bring attacks upon you, maybe your wife, your children, just because of falsehood. Let me say it again and again, please, especially for our international community. Do not, please, do not entertain anybody whatsoever whether as Joshua Selman or anybody connected to this ministry asking you to transfer money through any charity account there is only one account in the name of the ministry and in my name for any personal seat that has been made available ministerially speaking so any charity name or whatever it is for prayer and so on and so forth please and please i want you to know that you are dealing with a scammer praise the lord and we have asked the lord to help us fight them and i'm telling you god answers prayers here Praise the Lord. So, Father, stretch your hands, please, and let's pray. We thank you. You have done this for your glory. You have done this to bring honor to the name of Jesus. You have done this to lift up your name. And, Father, we sincerely, sincerely thank you. You are God. You are King. We love you. We honor you. We bless you. Lord, we thank you for this opportunity you have given us to make the message um, structurally available to bless all and sundry. We declare that it will remain a blessing. Let this download portal remain a blessing in the name of Jesus. Let millions around the world access it and get the resources that will provide supernatural solutions for them let people be saved through this portal let people be healed through this portal let people be changed transformed in the name of jesus and father we bless you and we honor you therefore we dedicate this and we release it tonight let it bless everyone let it be our contribution to kingdom come let it be our contribution um, towards establishing the purposes of the kingdom as committed unto us therefore father with all humility and gratitude we dedicate this in the name of the father of the son 
and of the Holy Spirit. Amen and amen. Praise the Lord. So please make it known. Let the whole world know that um, this is available as we improve on it. We'll continue to let you know um, the improvements that are there. Are you ready for tonight? Thank you, Jesus. Pray one prayer. Lord, that which belongs to me must enter my hands tonight. Lift your voice and pray. The grace belonging to me, the dimension, the anointing, everything that belongs to me. Holy, holy, holy. Holy, holy, holy. Holy, holy, holy. And the people say, holy. People say, Holy, 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 it's the Lord God Almighty, it's the Lord God Almighty, my life is. Of your glory, my life is full of your glory, and the people say, Holy, 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 and the people say, Holy, 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 is the Lord. Acts chapter 5. Thank you, Jesus. Acts chapter 5. Let your heart be open tonight. Acts chapter 5 from verse 12. We'll read from verse 12 to 16. And by the hands of the apostles were many signs and wonders wrought among the people. And they were all with one accord in Solomon's porch. And the rest, does no man join himself to them, but the people magnified them. 14. And believers were the more added unto the Lord by reason of the mighty things that happened. Multitudes, both of men and women. 15. In so much that they brought forth the sick into the streets and laid them on beds and couches that at least the shadow of Peter passing might overshadow some of them. The last verse 16. There came also a multitude out of the cities round about unto Jerusalem bringing sick folks and them which were vexed with unclean spirits and they were healed everyone praise the lord it is god's desire that continually a territory and a people continually that they continue to experience the wonder working power that is back of the name of jesus the name of jesus is powerful the Bible says God has given him a name. Please listen. And he said that name has been exalted above every other name. And the Bible demands 
not as an option that that name sustains the ability to cause every knee to bow and every tongue to confess acknowledging that jesus has now become not only christ alone but lord the bible says he has been made both lord and christ he became christ when the holy spirit came upon him he became lord at his coronation when he sat at the right hand of the father so he occupies those offices as the christ of god and lord the owner of the earth one of the ways that the kingdom was designed to advance please listen is through the the wonder walking manifestations of the power and the glory of god through men to men within a territory that means that when a territory continues to experience the multifaceted dimensions of the christ in miracles signs wonders healings strange manifestations of his power the bible says that everywhere this kind happens an entire territory will always come towards where the hand of god is finding expression and that many multitudes both of men and women will come to jesus i came in and i met a gentleman sharing his testimony i was so blessed when he said in the dream remember that the demand and now he's waiting for the altar call that one is the power of god are we together ministry is easy when there is results you see let me tell you anything is hard when there are no results so we are a people of results consistent results anything will be difficult when there are no results tonight several people have come several others connecting from around the world why number one because we all together as a family love jesus but number two because we have come believing believing number one according to hebrews 11 verse 6 that he is he exists and then two that he has the ability to reward god is called a rewarder he can reward them that diligently seek him there are families represented here trusting god for all kinds of things holding in their hands death sentences situations that only the power of god can solve what then is ministry if it cannot culminate to the lifting of men what then is ministry if it cannot draw men to jesus what then is ministry if it does not provide a platform for people to experience a dimension of god that is higher than science a dimension of god that is higher than medicine a dimension of God that is higher than economics. See, listen, let me tell you this. When you come before God, it is important that you respectfully acknowledge that men have understanding. But when you come before the God of the universe, please find a way of indoctrinating yourself that you are operating, um, you are dealing with a God that operates in a realm and a dimension that is higher than the scope of men. He will use men, but he does not walk by men. He walks through men. So it is not unusual that you are here right now. And scientifically speaking, there is you put two and two together and it does not make sense how you will come out. When I was meditating on what I'll be sharing, just a little chat before we pray. I, I had a vision. And in that vision, I saw what would be a similitude of the experience of Jesus. Remember when he was going to Gadara and there was a storm. And I saw not the exact thing in the Bible, but I saw like a raging storm. And I knew that this would probably refer to a category of people seated here and outside and following online who are having all kinds of storms around their lives it may be to go back to that scripture and just study it very carefully <clears throat> because if jesus calmed the storm then you should study what he did 
Are we together? Can we look at it for just two minutes before we pray? Luke chapter 8. Let's look at Luke's account. I love the scriptures. Luke chapter 8. Verse 22. Now it came to pass on a certain day. Listen. That he went into a ship with his disciples and he said unto them, Let us go over to the other side of the lake. And they launched forth. Uh-huh. Let's continue. But as they sailed, remember it was vision that brought this trouble. If they were not moving forward, there would be no need for a storm. Sometimes a storm does not mean you are wrong. It could mean you are right. They were on their way to the other side. Sometimes not having a storm does not mean you are all right. There are times that it means you are not doing anything. You are not moving. They were on their way to the other side. And then the Bible says that a storm arose. But as they sailed, he, Jesus now, fell asleep. And there came down a storm of wind on the lake. And they were filled with water and they were in jeopardy. 24 and they came to him and awoke him saying master master another version says careless not that we perish and he arose and rebuked the wind and the raging of the water and they ceased and there was calm leave it there leave that scripture there <laughs> look up a storm is made of two things number one wind number two water every storm is made of wind and water the bible says to calm the storm jesus dealt with two things he dealt with the wind and he dealt with the water that a storm does not just happen until these elements are present the wind and the water the wind in scripture always talks about the spiritual impute the realm of the spirit all through consistent from genesis 1 breathing upon them the breath of god ezekiel 37 are we together right everywhere the bible talks about wind it has to do with the spiritual dimension of anything and then number two the bible talks of water water in scripture especially with this kind of reference refers to men multitudes the voice of god is mighty upon the waters so the Bible says you have no business having a storm until there is wind and water. There has to be a spiritual dimension for every storm to be called a storm. And then there must be human factors that can work in partnership with the realm of the spirit to make a storm real. So Jesus is on his way going. We see that there are spirits we know that this is true because as soon as he gets to gadara we see a man and we see spirits so this condition was fulfilled are we together now that a storm cannot be a storm until there is wind and water jesus gets up and with this intelligence he knows what to rebuke the bible says look at the bible says he rebuked the wind one side and then the raging of the water was it not the man in Gadara who was raging with anger? Are we together now? The Bible says they would bind that man and put him in grave, um, I mean, at rocks and he would break the chains. He came to Jesus and said, what is all this? You have come to destroy us, do not torment us. And Jesus rebukes the spirit. Jesus corrects that man. And when you read down here, the Bible says he came and met the man in his right mind, in his right senses. So that means that every time humans go through storms, it's a combination of two things. One, the physical body, the situation that looks obvious, but that in the realm of the spirit, there is a wind that gives that water life. That the water does not move on its own. It is sponsored by an agency. That the family problem is more than just two people. Are we together now? That the financial storm is not just about money, Naira and Kobo. Every storm, is made of wind and water jesus did not only rebuke the wind 
the Bible says he rebuked the raging of the water and the Bible said they like two living things ceased and there was calm Jesus is teaching us how to calm storms that every time there is a storm number one know that it only comes because you are moving forward let us go to the other side you know we have this mindset that every time storms come sometimes they mean you are wrong it may mean you are right Jesus never said let us go back he did something about that situation there are times that going back is not an option you have the power to calm the storm and that the first thing he did just to encourage someone that the first thing Jesus did was to rebuke the wind in that order because according to James 2 and verse 26 a spirit without a body is dead behind every body there is a spirit component to it behind every situation as a body there is a spirit component to it so he rebukes the spirit this is the same thing jesus did also when you read the 12th chapter of luke the bible lets us know that one time um he met a woman who had been stooped for 18 years he said and he said woman thou art loosed from your infirmity and then when the woman was loosed he now laid hands on her and straightened her and said ought not this woman being a daughter of abraham ought not this woman she shouldn't be in this condition as a daughter of abraham there are storms that continue to rage when god showed me that vision i knew exactly what he was saying there are many people who will focus on what is obvious the financial issue the marital issue the career issue you are just looking at the water the raging of the water but that the water in itself has a wind behind it there is a spirit that is sponsoring that family catastrophe there is a spirit listen very carefully this our generation that continues to ignore the reality of the spirit realm it's amazing how we try to ignore we find a way of convincing ourselves that there are no spirit influences in the world of men and if any is just mind no there are real spirits they are alive they influence people's finances they influence marriages they influence ministries they influence results every time jesus was going to handle issues he dealt with the spiritual dimension first and then he corrected the physical dimension are we together that means adjusting things from the physical is a total waste of time there are people who the solution to their problem is not counseling the guy is not a thief as a habit he's a thief as an influence that's the reason why no matter where you hide what you hide the spirit works like a prophetic spirit with word of knowledge he will know where it was kept that's not a habit there are people like jonah who are carrying all kinds of presents that continue to program difficulties in their lives even something that should be easy when it gets to your turn it becomes horribly difficult it's a spirit when there is a raging storm that the way to deal with it is to rebuke the wind then rebuke the water then both of them will be calm you rebuke your child and you leave the wind you are in trouble imagine that jesus met the guy at gadara and said that's all right no problem just dress well and uh, behave yourself next time when you see me no legion legion of devils in one man and jesus said go out of this man now and they left and then the man imagine the man taking his bath a sound and a sane man coming back and you look at him and say ah, yesterday you were you were not like this and the man will say yes because it was me plus other entities see i have learned by experience and by scripture the 
the power of victory when realities in the realm of the spirit are settled is a total waste of time i am telling you to approach things purely from a scientific point or from a sociological point at best it can just provide temporary succor but if it's results you are looking for all realities must first be settled in the realm of the spirit the bible says in hebrews chapter 11 verse 1 starting says now faith is the substance of things hoped for it calls faith the evidence of things not seen and then he says for by it the elders obtained a good report verse 3 says through faith we understand that the walls were framed by the word of god the second part is my interest he says so that the things which are seen were not made of things which do appear that means the physical realm does not give birth to the physical realm the physical realm is a child that comes from another dimension every good thing has an origin from the realm of the spirit every evil thing also has an origin from the realm of the spirit are we together When a woman gives birth to a child, sorry to use this analogy, the child comes out and you notice there is an umbilical cord that connects into the woman. That umbilical cord is a testimony that that child started from within. Is that true? This is the same thing. Listen carefully. Every situation you see is like a baby. When you trace carefully, you will trace the umbilical cord and it will disappear. You will have to be spiritual to know where it extends to. And some spiritual umbilical cords are long because they come from regions that are very far. Hallelujah. But what does the doctor do to have the child completely free? He cuts it off. Period. For as long as that umbilical cord is there, that connection remains. And then he cuts it off. This is exactly how it is stop approaching life just from the physical standpoint i am telling you this it's a waste of time it's a waste of time i have read my bible and i have learned every flourishing ministry does not start just by an anointed man and cheers and members and keyboardists and intelligent speaking no sir it starts from the realm of the spirit there must be a testimony in the realm of the spirit that reflects in the physical the book of Job, how did it start? The Bible says, once upon a time, the writer of Job gave us the duality of realms. We were able to see things from both realms. And the Bible says the whole story did not start just on earth. That the discussion started in the realm of the spirit, in the heavenlies. And a man came and was proposing all kinds of things. Satan, going to and fro. And God said, have you considered my servant Job? And Satan testified and said, well, I came to him and I found him fortified. And he said, is it for nothing that you cover this man? While that is happening in the realm of the spirit, Job gets up in the morning and he does not know that he's one week left for his tragedy to start. He's on earth. Hmm. Imagine the night before all his children will die and all his cattle. He was still the greatest man in the east, but overnight... When the realm of the spirit finishes something, it will take only God to correct it. Whatever happens in the physical realm is just acting. Believe me. The same way from the foundations of the earth, the lamb was already slain. And so it will be impossible for it not to happen in the physical realm. Regardless of what Satan did, all the manipulations... Are we together? The Bible says that God hath blessed us already with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ. It's already done. That means the, the reality that these things have been established in the realm of the spirit should give us confidence that for as long as we partner with God, inevitably, it must find expression in the physical realm. This I believe. Build the ministry from the realm of the spirit. And watch what happens in the physical realm build the business from the realm of the spirit and what what happens in the physical realm 
build the children from the realm of the spirit. The dedication I did for our little one here, that's what they did for many people. They dedicated them to idols and immediately the next week they went to America and never came to Nigeria again. Yet their lives continue to parallel somebody in the village, although they're in America. Why? Because there was an authorization that the realm of the spirit will should feel free to continue to create scenarios that draw people back. We are thriving and excelling because what you see is only a reflection. It has been finished already. The miracle service has been finished already in the realm of the spirit. The rejoicing version of you is already a reality in the realm of the spirit. Are you seeing that now? And that's why for as long as your heart is open and your faith can connect inevitably, you will see the hand of God. He said, who has believed our report to him, that man, the arm of the Lord has been made manifest. Why do we call for these kinds of services? They are not just moments to while away time. There are several people outside everywhere, thousands of people all around this ground, and many more connecting around the world. God is not stupid to gather a people. Some of you left this journey from maybe outside of this nation, within this nation, traveling, risking your life to come and sit down. Would God be joking with you to bring you here? Abba. I believe in Jesus. I believe in his power. I believe that God can turn things around. Listen to me, please. I want to shake off unbelief from you. I believe that God, in a moment, in a twinkling of an eye, that a whole family can come and just sit in and say, Lord, can you turn our lives? Ha! Do you know, as a man of God, I've been around this thing for a while, and maybe a little while, and I'm telling you, myself, even as a man who God has helped, sometimes I am in awe and shock at the way God moves that someone can just come and sit in the presence of god my brothers and sisters and the anointing of the holy spirit comes like a drug and that's it you step up and doors open just like that it's like a dream everything you are looking for is also looking for you please hear me believe what i tell you everything you are looking for is looking for you if it has not gotten to you something stopped it i desired once and again to come to you but satan hindered us everything you are looking for is looking for you the breakthrough the lifting the anointing the new levels the increase the expansion it is god's will his testament already tells us there's no need going to pray and say is it god's will no the will of god is revealed through his word I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health even as thy soul prospereth and then scripture says let God be true and that every man a liar if you believe this about God then you will also know that the Bible says while we look not at the things that are seen but the things that are unseen why because the things that are seen are temporal what does temporal mean subject to change fading but the things that are unseen are eternal that means everything that does not represent the counsel of god can change can change it's a miracle that my life of lack can change are we together now my life of living from drug to drug from death sentence to death sentence can change so the question tonight is not can god do it no 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 the ministry of jesus captured all of this he preached he taught he healed the sick listen carefully he casted out devils 
he made for the provisions of people that there be supplies so i know god is able to do it please don't come sitting here tonight wondering i've gone to many churches you may say i've been prayed for by several people apostle you don't know the amount of vigils let me tell you something and i submit to you respectfully every challenge is at the mercy of the grace that confronts it listen very carefully don't generalize troubles every challenge is at the mercy of the grace that confronts it the anointing is like money if you have one thousand you have money but that money can only buy to the limit of one thousand and if what you need to buy is ten thousand you are in trouble you will need to add nine of what you already have in addition to what you have to make that a possibility so then death walks in us that life will walk in you my assignment is to continue to grow in the anointing and to continue to grow in the revelation of the truth why because it is in that growth that more people's testimony is resident that means the testimony that the level of grace i occupied three four five years could not produce if it cannot produce that result till now then i'm not growing the problem is never with those who are having the challenge. You see, I continue to say this. The problem is not with members. It's not with the sick people. No, the problem is the limitation of the grace that is upon the person who is dispensing the word. It is true. Why do you call one doctor consultant and then you call another um, a resident doctor? What is the difference? They are all doctors. Is that true? Are they all doctors? I believe in the power of God. I truly believe in miracles. I believe in miracles. Number one, because the Bible allows it. Number two, because this is how men know that Jesus is Lord. Listen to me. The demonstration of the power of God in miracles, signs and wonders. No matter who argues around it is the authorized signature sign El Shaddai this is how he walks when he moves upon the lives of people he leaves his signature there where the carcasses are they say that's where the eagles will gather please let me encourage you if you are a man of God here and you are here in this meeting please desire more than receiving a miracle desire a solid impartation of a real grace that is provable 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 no amount of poster would do the work of a real miracle no amount of handbill now i'm not being sarcastic will do the work of a real miracle a transformed life is a real miracle a healed body is a real miracle hallelujah we have come here tonight to celebrate the hand of God resting upon people resting upon families some of you are here for the first time because through the messages and through testimonies you have heard that this is what God is doing now you are seated like somebody who is ready to watch a movie and you are wondering okay is my case too big will God be able to visit me you know reminds me of how patients talk to doctors they believe that the doctor has never seen their problem. say doctor you don't know the pain eh? when i'm telling the doctor i already know the situation don't just be patient say, don't allow me let me let me explain to you let me even try to turn and he's looking and the man says i was in medicine before you were born i've met this kind of thing before i know the solution and sometimes the solution is funny he can just give him a prescription and he said that's all I thought I would be on admission. I said, no, no, it doesn't call for that kind of emergency. Just because you are threatened by the situation does not mean the situation is a threat. No. no. Apostle, you don't know the kind of financial trouble that is on my head that brought me here. No. It's a threat to you, but it's not a threat. Find a way of believing what I'm saying because it is true. 
The Son of Righteousness is here with healing in his wings. Yeah. The Son of Righteousness is here with lifting in his wings. The Son of Righteousness is here with speed in His wings for someone's destiny. The Son of Righteousness is here with fire in His wings. The Son of Righteousness is here with healing in his wings. Listen, when the Lord called me, I told him something. I said, Lord, I know how unfair it is to gather a people and not have the power to allow your might to be revealed in them. You know, most times there are people who just act as if once the people hear the revelation of the word is all right. Uh, if they are not changed, that's okay. No, I believe in miracles. I believe in the word becoming flesh, God reaching down to people. I believe in situations changing with proofs. Proofs. Your account, proof. Your destiny, proof. Everything with proof and we will continue to thrive and push through and see to it that by the grace of God Almighty that we grow to realms in the spirit where every challenge that comes is within the jurisdiction of the grace provided to provide answers that's what God does you come and sit down in this atmosphere ladies and gentlemen and you are wondering can God step into my situation I love Jesus with all my heart I have read the scripture I have seen what God can do can God give me a job can God open a door can God put this anointing upon my life can God lift the death sentence over my life can God bring to end this age-long captivity that has tied the family the answer is yes let me repeat the answer is yes God is able before God gathers a people like this he will check first whether he has the power to do it it is based on that conclusion that he gathers a people he will call a solemn assembly and say come and experience God hallelujah praise the Lord so tonight I like your faith to be fired up don't don't allow the devil to reduce you to the realm of the flesh where you are wondering how can God make a way in the wilderness there are many ways God can deliver you from the wilderness. He can leave the wilderness there and carry you. That's method one. Number two, he can scatter every rock in the wilderness and make a road out of it. Three, he can leave you there and carry the wilderness. It doesn't matter how he does it. The most important thing is you are separated from it. Look at the size of your challenge. The heaven is his throne and the earth is his footstool footstool hallelujah it is footstool please help those here the power of god i just saw light just flashing here two people just here the power of god is touching them the lord straight up is visiting them and for one i'm seeing god remove something that looks like a growth around the stomach i command that growth to go now in the name of Jesus there are two of them there's two I saw two lights so just this way and is the ministry of the spirit you see two lights there is there is one something is coming out of the stomach is what I'm seeing um, I don't know what it is looking like but it's looking like a thread just coming out of the stomach Lord we believe in you Lord we believe in you there is a man of God here the power of God is coming on him you are a ministry you are a man of God I just saw it by the Spirit
Let me tell you why these things happen. Look up, please. Let me teach you something. Don't worry about the time. I just want to show you something in two minutes. I just fell to digress. You see, all you see is not all there is. When God calls a man, there is not only an anointing, there is an office and there is a throne that defends what he represents. There are certain operations of the spirit that are not only products of the anointing. No. There are certain operations that are legislations. It is not the anointing that makes it happen. There is an office in the realm of the spirit recognized, accredited by God, allocated for that grace and that office. Please listen. Understand what I am teaching you. So that when words come like this, I'm not trying to transfer the anointing to the person to make it happen. No, 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 no. No. There are times that that happens. Try to understand what I'm teaching you. There are things that are, they are governmental legislations. You see, let me tell you, there is growth in the spirit. And people can grow to realms where certain privileges are given to them what was the privilege of the man with the parable of the five two and one talent he said i set thee over kingdoms what kingdoms that was the reward he got a ranking in the spirit that means i extend your dominion that these other kingdoms they also come under the influence of your speaking that means you can declare things when i started out in ministry i would not minister that way because it was not by this this grace for legislature it was just about the anointing being properly channeled but now that's not just the issue now no at that level you will not be able to minister to a crowd like this you see that So when I declare and I speak sometimes, it is not just an anointed man speaking. No, there are speakings that come from the anointing, but there are speakings that come by reason of the office that speaks. The centurion said, I am a man under authority. Authority. There is a government. There, I am a captain. I have an allocation in the army. There are people who must hear me. Because I am under that grace. That means there are things that can be called. Listen. If I am walking, if I am walking in a restaurant and I am the manager in that restaurant, now whether I can cook or not, I am the manager. Do you understand what I'm saying? And that means there are certain privileges that can happen. Is that true? It is within my power. To tell you come and sit down in that restaurant please serve him you see that i cannot cook physically but i occupy a position that has a cook under me i can make his grace work for you this is what i'm saying i'm not the one who prepared the food but there is somebody who can cook but both the cook and all of this is within the restaurant was given to my care let me tell you what this means please listen and, and i'm careful to say this because many young people once they get these kinds of things they usually will not understand what the man of god is saying and they will go online and start writing things that are er erroneous let me tell you this there is an office you can occupy that the grace must not be on you to reach people that means if pastor femi has a grace for prayer and you need it I can grow to a point in the spirit whereby the power of submission, I, me, a man, I can take the grace on him for prayer because it is needed and it is part of the apostolic duty to see that this guy's prayer life is on. I can partner with the Holy Spirit and take the grace for prayer that is on him. I may not have it as a person, but because he needs that grace, God can use me to take that grace and place it on someone. It's true.
we remain humble before God and we thank him for the things that he continues to provide but let me tell you my brothers and my sisters men are not just men this is a revelation that is very is very difficult to understand but it's powerful when understood so when God gathers us like this God will not bring you to a place that cannot bless you no God does not work like that he will first check your problem before directing you so if he allowed you to come it is because he has checked it's like a checklist and he said no no, no. the grace for your problem is here go you can go the same way you apply for admission you first check whether the course you want do they offer it just because they don't offer your course does not mean they are not a university there are times that only one university is offering a particular course and you will travel and go down there why because you want to access it this is how these things are spiritually too sometimes doesn't mean that we're the only ones doing what we're doing that would be pride and that would be untrue but let me tell you something that as god continues to engrace us then he provides a platform and an opportunity for the anointing to step i know that not many of us are sick crippled and all of that so it's difficult because you may not see visible signs immediately but the anointing comes on you and then you can go as you go you, you know what is on you by what starts to change so you're a man of god you go back ah i came to zaria it was a powerful meeting and then god leads you to certain people and for the first time you are surprised you are talking to the person and you are hearing names that you don't know you are saying okay i used to just think these things are intuition so the speakings of god can be this clear i can know it this much tonight is not only a night of deliverance tonight is not only a night of healing tonight is not only a night to calm storms tonight is a night of receiving i really believe that impartations to receive to receive you have to add to the grace that is upon your life already grace and peace be multiplied if you stay where you are you will not grow in results grace and peace be multiplied you are a prayer warrior you are the you are a leader in a group you remain at that level everybody will go and leave you there and they will not listen to you again that's the truth because they have exhausted the level of grace it's not that they don't want to love you you have to grow so take away your mind from anything that can distract and focus on god place something upon my life lord you have come put something upon my life put something upon my destiny and if you came here as a family put something oh god upon our family son of righteousness is he with fire in his eyes the son of righteousness is he with healing in his wings hallelujah who is deborah overflow one just we're going to be very fast tonight deborah someone in overflow one deborah we're going to pray deborah she's at the back you are wearing something on your head you are tying something on your head outside overflow one son of righteousness is here healing in his wings son of righteousness is here i'm going to pray but the person i'm seeing is wearing traditionals it's like it has a little of maroon touch on it traditionals this is what i'm seeing i will pray for you the son of righteousness is here when you find such if there's if there's nobody like that no problem my dear where are you coming from Zaria, I want to pray for you. 
Look at me, your life will so change this night, it will surprise you. There is a God in heaven. I'm seeing you crying and the Lord is wiping your tears completely, just by his spirit. He's wiping. Where are you from? The mic is not working, find out why, please. Can I pray for you? Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I release you, my dear. Deborah is your name. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. I release you from captivity. I set you free by the Spirit of the living God. I'm seeing something that has tied you huh? from head to toe. But the Lord is saying to release you. And I declare to you by the Spirit of the living God that God now is releasing you completely by the Spirit of the living God. Releasing you right now. My dear... Where are you coming from? Outside? Your name is Deborah. Can I pray for you? In the name of Jesus. Who is that? Her name is Deborah. Where was she? Outside? What's wrong with her? Huh? Why? How long, madam? Madam, you feel pain in your back? Yes, sir. Severe pain? Yes, sir. Where? Here, like this. From my back. Mm. We're going to pray for the sick. Huh? So when we pray for the sick, you will come out and I'll pray for you. Okay? You came with her? You're her daughter? Who are you? Just a friend that came. You're a nice lady. Come. What, do you, what are you trusting God for? Huh? A life partner i love you you're a very honest and sincere lady and i'm going to pray for you huh? hold my hands father honor your word in the name of jesus christ give this lady a very godly man by the spirit of the living god find somewhere for her let her sit down we're going to pray i want to pray we're going to do a very quick walk tonight the power of god is coming on someone around the worship team here i just saw just like light I don't know who that person is, but I just saw light around the worship team. We are going to pray. Please lift your voice in one minute and cry, Lord, visit me. Please pray quickly. Lift your voice and pray. Make sure you pray. Something must come upon your life tonight. coming from come this lady you yes where are you coming from you are schooling here from where your state you are from Kaduna state where are your loved ones tell them the month of November is a month of breakthrough for your family huh? that's what God is telling me to tell you November is a very strange month of breakthrough. Huh? Your dad. That's what I'm saying. Something would have happened to someone this November, but the Lord is saying November is a month of breakthrough for your family. In the name of Jesus, I declare and I prophesy to you, let it come to an end now. The spirit that kills people by November it comes to an end now i command by the spirit of the living god the bible says now the lord is that spirit it says and where the spirit of the lord is 
there is liberty there is liberty there is liberty there is liberty let it end let it be over right now let it be over right now sabaratu shikala hasibada father i pray tonight in the name that is above all names that your mighty power in the name of jesus the son of the living god that it be made manifest across this place let yokes be lifted let burdens be lifted let all kinds of yokes be broken in the mighty name of jesus now listen please i want to pray for you please pay attention focus on jesus it is not just a call to have people fall under the anointing no i want to pray and minister the power of god that if there is anything at all within this circumference that is not of the christ that as we pray the power of god comes upon you please we have would we'll make it very fast and the ushers will bring them out we are going to shout that name that is above all names it's not a ritual wherefore god had so highly exalted him and given him a name father in the name of jesus i pray that you will honor your word and honor your name at the count of three together as a family of faith we are going to shout that name already i'm telling you i see fire just like rain but it's the rain of fire coming on people to end all kinds of oppressions at the count of three one two three shout jesus that every power that is not of god go now in the mighty name of jesus christ in the name that is above all names i decree and declare the forces of ancestry yokes of darkness please bring them out quickly 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 we are praying again hear me the bible says even the lawful captives shall be delivered you are going to shout that name again not just for yourself not just for your family that everything that is not by the christ he must give way right now i speak to principalities and powers and thrones and dominions and every name that is named are you ready to shout now at the count of three one two three shout jesus release them now release them now 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 release their destinies by the blood release them now the bible says even the captives of the mighty shall be delivered hallelujah was you praying you're going to shout two more times this is the second to the last time the lord wants to end patterns something that happened to someone your mother is now happening to you your mother was raped you are now being raped your father failed you now failed in the name of jesus i declare now this one i see fire coming on several people inside and outside lord i pray anyone here who is a victim of patterns strengthened by spirit at this shout oh god let there be deliverance one two three shout jesus be free now be free now repeatable patterns that tie people down outside inside be free now everyone who is under the influence of any strange spirit 
whether here or any of the overflows i declare to those spirits the bible says now the lord is that spirit and that where the spirit of the lord is there is liberty i speak by the anointing in the name of jesus that these spirits let them go and release the families all those in front here at the count of three release them release their families one two three go now go 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 The woman holding photo there's a woman here holding a picture there's a woman holding a picture come madam let every other name fade away come madam let every other name fade away till there's only you Jesus take your place, Jesus take your place. Madam, where are you coming from, ma? From Port Harcourt. I want to pray for you. I'm seeing a stronghold of witchcraft across your family. But the Lord is saying, these are your children. Where are they? Your children. I'm seeing two of your children in the US. Is the mic working? It's not working. Is it working? Please help us. Let there be someone who is. Huh? I'm seeing two of your children in US. How many of them are in US? Okay, three of them in US. Who is in UK? Where is the one in UK? There's one in UK. Listen to me, madam. God is going to come upon your family and bring rest roundabout. Rest roundabout. In the name of Jesus, madam, I lay my hands on you and upon this request. Turn every captivity, my God, to become like the streams of Negev, the Negev. Be free now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Over now. The power of God will touch them in the U.S., in the U.K. I bring liberty to this family right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Um, my friend, this man, please just clear the way for me. The man with gray hair just near this one. Come, sir. Let every other name fade away. Where are you coming from, sir? Uh, Niger State. From Niger State. Are you a man of God? What do you do? I'm a pastor. You are a pastor. Where? I have a ministry. Point of joint ministry. You have a ministry. I have to pray for you. I'm seeing a serious embargo. First on your life and then on your ministry. I don't know you, sir. I've not seen anything around you. But I want to pray. Because I am seeing, number one, God is taking away this embargo upon your life. But number two, I'm seeing that God is granting you the spirit of revelation. Amen. The revelatory grace. Amen. Revelatory dimension of the anointing. Amen. And then I'm also seeing God raising financial support. Help us. Amen. Very strong pillars for you. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Can I pray for you, sir? Is it alright if right. I pray for you? Right. I hope you're not embarrassed that I pray for you. I hope you're not embarrassed that I pray for you. No, no, no. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for this servant of God. Sir, in the name that is above all names, I speak to you because you believe. May the Lord shift you to a new dimension of ministry. Let the grace for revelation rest mighty upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ. And I declare to you, God will raise strange financial helpers to attend to your needs. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Who is, I'm hearing. Who is Ezekiel? Ezekiel. We have to hurry up, but I'm hearing a name Ezekiel. 
Of course, I can imagine that there will be so many people with that name, but we have to hurry up because I want to pray. Ezekiel, I'm hearing a name, Ezekiel. And the Lord wants to minister to that person now, please. Every foul spirit. There is a family here. You are from Zonkua. Zonkua should be Southern Kaduna. Is that? Zonkua. Where are you? Please verify. Let's, let's make sure that you are a family. Oh, it's not just one person. I'm not just saying one person who came. There are many people who came who are from Zonkua. We're in Kaduna State. I'm saying a family. This is what God is revealing to me. Let me pray for you. You came out for Ezekiel. I want to pray for you. What do you do, my friend? You are, you are brothers? Ezekiel, I will pray for you. I, of course, I will pray generally, but it, it may not necessarily be for everybody. My friend, let me pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now, please, hold on. I hope, I hope, there's, there's why they are coming out. Why, why are all of you out for Ezekiel? Okay, I'll pray for you. The Lord is asking me to do something except that the Lord said so. I wouldn't have done it. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I'm seeing at least eleven people when I pray for them. Please don't be embarrassed. The addiction of smoking um, either drugs or this um, uh, all these things that they smoke there, I'm seeing at least 11 people and the Lord is saying he wants to deliver them now now in this place I'm going to pray for these gentlemen but I'm going to ask those people listen there's nothing to be embarrassed about I, like I said I would not call you to embarrass you but God is showing me both men and women not only women addicted to smoking this codeine or, or cocaine or whatever it is drugs the lord wants me to pray for those people so i'll immediately i pray for this i will call you please leave your friend leave whatever you are doing and you come and stand and i'll pray for you my friend let me pray for you in the name of jesus i declare that god is lifting you in the name of jesus christ god is lifting you by the power of the holy spirit and that everything that does not represent the counsel of God, let it live your life right now. And for all of you who stood in for the name Ezekiel, I pray for you. My friend, look at me. God is visiting your family, eh? You. is visiting your family in a very strange way. This, it will not reach weekend, next week, before you start getting testimonies. This thing I'm telling you is less than one week. Write it down. I speak to you by the Spirit of God. May the Lord honor this word. And for all of you who are standing in for Ezekiel in the name of Jesus, everything around your life that is not the planting of the Lord be delivered right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, God bless you. What's, what's, well, from Zonkua, sir? Are you a family? Yes, God, it's not family. This is our father, but he cannot speak English. No problem. He's welcome. Please come. Let him come. No, don't, don't let the children who cry. Their children. Is it the same family? Uh, don't worry, I'll pray for you. And these ones too? And your children? Madam, what do you do, ma? You are a nurse. I will pray for you, Ho. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, turn this woman's life around. Amen. And turn the life of her children around. In Jesus' name. God bless you. Um, who is, what? He speaks your language. You, okay, when I talk to you, don't worry, you don't have to give up. When I talk to you, you will, you will interpret to him. Eh? Tell him that I'm seeing something that looks like a shrine. And that this thing has been responsible for the retrogression of everybody within this family. That people rise in this family just when they should sit down, they either die or go down. 
from school before he died. That's what I'm saying. Yes. I'm seeing that this is yes. what happens. Yes. Just when people should His settle first down. My brother, yes. Our first born, he graduated this? from school before he died. Is your father? Yes. Is he your brother? Yes, he's my brother. Okay. Oh, please, someone help us and attend to these children, please. These are your don't worry, my dear. There's no need to shout. Please tell him that there is a name that is above every other name. And that I'm going to pray right now. And no matter how long it has stayed, this entire family must be set free. Can I pray? What do you do? This where you love Jesus. I love Jesus. You are going to be an evangelist. I don't know yes. him. I don't know anything. I'm just, I'm just telling you that this man, I'm seeing by the spirit, this, this boy you are seeing is going to be a mighty man of God, an evangelist. Hold my hands. I release you into this grace. May this anointing take you to dimensions untold. In the name of Jesus Christ, fresh grace for prayer, fresh grace for the word. I shift you by the spirit into these dimensions now i pray for this family and every other family that has this kind of thing that there are forces that sit on people's destinies just when people should sit down they crash down in the name that is above all names i declare be free now be free now help this girl be free now every spirit look at the children i cause this spirit now now out of this family in the mighty name of jesus i release this family from the spirit of death and the influences of the grave be free in the name of jesus christ and let me prophesy to any other family here that is under this kind of yoke in the name of jesus come out of it now hallelujah God bless you. Thank you so much, sir. God bless you. Please, they can go back to your seat. Now, I want to pray. Our time is gone. We must hurry up tonight. But the Lord is showing me people who want to be delivered from this addiction to drugs and smoking. L listen, no, everybody here is a product of God's mercy. There's no such thing as anybody. There are not many times I do this, but I have to obey what God is. Are you here for that case? Huh? Okay. May the Lord bless you. In the name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord bless you. In Jesus' name. So please, I'm going to give one minute. Whether you are in overflow 3, overflow 2B, 2C, 4, wherever, or in here, you know that some people are not bad they are not bad people they just need to be free please run and come and stand here right now you are addicted to all of these drugs don't be looking at anybody to say so this one is none of your business please celebrate everyone it takes a lot of courage for them to come are you clapping for them everyone please there are still more people because I saw a number of people in my vision as God was speaking to me. You love the Lord, but this addiction. See, these addictions are spirits. It's not about somebody being good or bad. Look at them coming. It's not. Look, let me tell you the truth. Addiction is something that is, there is a spirit behind it. Please keep coming. Be bold and come and stand. God will set you free from it. Son of Righteousness is he with healing in his wings. Hey, 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 hey. The son of righteousness is he with healing in his wings. Please hurry up. I'm about to pray for them now. So if you belong to that category, if your friend is stopping you, leave that friend and come and stand. Nobody is condemning you. 
is an addiction, it's a spirit. When you see the kinds of people coming, some of them are better than you in terms of character, it's a spirit. We have to deal with this thing because it's killing people everywhere. Some of you just have dreams and right from the realm of dreams, you cannot resist it again. I want to pray a serious prayer for you. Jesus is here. Some of you were doing well. You were excelling even in life academically until that spirit just came. And it just brought you down. I want to pray for you. Some of you were introduced to it by friends. Friends. They brought you together. Gave you those things. Look at people coming. Let's celebrate them. Young and old. This is not an issue for young people. Young and old. All together. God is setting people free. Listen. Let me tell you. Sincerely. I love every one of you. And I know that many people would not have one tenth the courage to come and stand. This is a family. Nobody dares condemn you. We are products of his grace. The Lord wants to set you free once and for all. Hallelujah. Now listen, let me tell you this. Remember the teaching that I gave you. I told you that every storm is calmed by rebuking the wind and rebuking the water it is not what you hold and smoke or what you swallow that is the issue there is a spirit no amount of guidance and counseling will solve the problem you will need to be delivered and i want to pray for you praise the lord there are two things i want you to do for me one when i pray for you you have a responsibility to let some of the association because i know how addictive these associations are tell them that apostle joshua selman prayed for you and trust god for grace to leave them alone come to the house of god and make good friends are we together you are not free when your association is not free because some of you you probably have made attempts before but you will go back and you will meet those people and they will laugh at you and say forget about that nonsense so you have to trust God for grace. But let me pray for you. Please lift your hand if you can. Some of you are here. Some of you are standing for your children. Some of you are standing for your loved ones. I know that not all of you are standing for yourself. Father, you gave this as a revelation. There are many people under the addiction of strange spirits. And Lord, I stand right now by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. And I declare that in the frontier from my left to my right, let the angel of deliverance move right now across this place and cut the help them, please, my God, and cut this change. I'm praying for all of you in front now. The legal basis upon which these spirits operate by the blood of the eternal covenant, I break that legal hold now. I break that legal hold now. The spirit of addiction to drugs. Be free from it now. Be free from it now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Listen, I pray for every one of you. Hear me. I'm saying it again. I don't care how it came into your life. It leaves you now and forever. It leaves you now and forever. Any association that the devil uses to keep you here in the name of the father the son and the holy ghost i set you free from them forever i declare by the anointing of the holy spirit that you are free say after me all of you in front say in the name of jesus say it again in the name of jesus i stand by the blood of jesus and i declare that from tonight and forever I am free from any and all forms of addiction I declare that from tonight addiction to drugs addiction to anything that is not of the Christ it leaves my life now and every spirit 
behind it I command you to let me go now I declare my liberty I declare that I am free in Jesus name let it be so for you by the power of the Holy Spirit I'm speaking to you by the anointing of the Holy Ghost no one condemns you we stand as a family we stand by you and we agree as a family of faith you are free from this nonsense this night in the name of Jesus Christ please return back to your seat rejoicing let's celebrate them return back to your seat rejoicing let's celebrate them hallelujah now don't be embarrassed I'm going to pray from here but I'm seeing a spirit on a lady it is only married men that look for you only married men a young gentleman who can settle down with you will never be interested in you but a man who is already married that's the one who will look for you in the name of Jesus whether in this auditorium overflow one two three whoever is standing under the influence of that spirit I'm declaring right now by the anointing of the Holy Ghost be free now shout aloud amen be free now please help that girl be free now I'm still praying I'm, I'm still sensing this anointing is still is like he's moving and searching for people I say it again that anointing that grace whatever it is that makes only married men to look for you in the name that is above all names be free now be free now the Lord is showing me a door in the spirit and I'm seeing that door closed before we pray for the sick the Lord is saying to open that door. I believe that there are many people. It represents the next level of several people's lives. I stand right now. My God, I'm seeing rain just coming on people. My God, the King of glory, I declare. Everybody who is standing in front of a closed door, I speak to that door, be open now. Be open now. Bring this woman for me. Oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Who came with this madam? She came on her own. Because the kind of breakthrough I see God bringing for this woman will surprise you. Madam, I don't know you, but in a name that is above all names, you came with her? From where? Here. In the name of Jesus, madam, I don't know you, but I speak to you by the power that raised Christ from the dead. Every closed door before you I command that door to be open now in the name of Jesus. Be open in the name of Jesus Christ. Be open in the name of Jesus. As I pray for her, in the name of Jesus Christ, I command every spirit that is not of God to leave this lady. Look at her tearing her clothes. You see how these wicked spirits walk. Listen, let me tell you something. Deliverance look at me deliverance is not just the issue of shouting and demons rolling up, up and down no now you can see this girl imagine that she's your fiance and your wedding is next week you see what we are saying I, i'm not saying she's a bad person please don't mm -mm. but you the spirit will not shout when they are joining you it's when you have gotten married you see these wicked manifestations now the Lord is that spirit and the spirit where the spirit of the Lord is are you looking for a job 
Who is looking for it? I'm seeing. Hold on, please. Listen. Um, my sister, please shift for me. This fair lady. Where are you coming from? Kaduna? Yes, sir. Come and stand here. I'm seeing someone shaking your hands that you got a job. Are you looking for a job? She's not here. Now. Let us stand up. Are you looking for a job? Yes, sir. Hear the word of the Lord. I'm telling you. I'm seeing God giving you a job that will surprise you. There's, there's no need to cry. God is here to roll away reproach and to take away shame. I prophesy to you in the name of Jesus, according to this that the Lord has revealed, you will come and stand here and you will testify of your job. In the name of Jesus, let the power of God come upon you and set you free right now. Now, very quickly, we are going to do two things. Please, if how many of you have written your prayer requests? If you have written your prayer request, please bring it out. If you have not written it, take time to write very quickly now. Um, what is, I'm hearing Baba Silas. What is Baba Silas? Baba Silas. I don't know if that is a name or that's a name of somebody's father. Baba Silas is what I'm hearing. If there is such a person, let me just talk to the person. Now, quickly, please submit your prayer requests. Um, there will be ushers, PR, help them, or whatever department. Huh? What? Give him the mic. What's your name? What's your name? Huh? Your brother is Silas. What I'm hearing is Baba Silas. I will pray for you. Why are they coming out, please? Huh? Your father is Silas. We'll pray for you. Let me just touch you and then you go back. Let it be over in Jesus' name. Whatever it is you are standing in for, let it be over in Jesus' name. Forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. By the anointing of the Holy Spirit, over forever. In the name of Jesus Whatever the challenge is, over forever, in the name of Jesus Christ. I set you free from sickness. They will not say you have fibroid. I curse that devil, that lady you are carrying. I rebuke that spirit, in the name of Jesus Christ. All right, please, all those, listen, please. We are going to pray for the sick now. Um, there are so many people tonight, and we have to be fast. Our time is gone. But let me say this, whether you are in overflow one or two or three, if you are coming here particularly trusting God for fruit of the womb, whatever overflow, no matter how far, I want you to come into this main auditorium because I will pray for you. Um, alongside them, all those who are trusting God for healing, please come and stand now. Overflow one, please move to your projector stand. Um, protocol will have to help me. How many overflows do we have tonight? There are so many. You Thank you for your patience. Please rise up on your feet. Stretch your hands to this place. Cry from the depth of your heart. You don't have to kneel. Please stand. Cry from the depth of your heart. Father, this Egyptian that I see today. I see them no more forever. Is someone stretching your hands? Pray, pray, don't look around, pray. Unto you that answers prayer, shall all flesh come. In the name of Jesus, turn situations around. In the name of Jesus, wipe tears. In the name of Jesus, let impossible situations turn around. Shiparutas Kabarada Gadesh. Declare it. Those online follow us as we pray. We prophesy upon these requests. We pray over your request in the name that is above all names. The God of miracles. We cry, Abba Father, hallowed be 
service is a very powerful part. People have recorded unspeakable testimonies, turn around by the hand of God. Father, I bow my knees in the name of Jesus. By the privilege of the grace that you have supplied, I bring before you, O oh God, the pain, the tears, the requests of your people. They have brought this as a token of their faith, as proof that they believe you. Lord, you do these things because you love us, but you also do it to honor our faith. Therefore, Lord, I stand in agreement with the Spirit and I declare that every situation represented here turns into a testimony now. Every situation represented here by the God of heaven turns into a testimony now. Whoever must lose sleep for this prayer to be answered, we declare it so. Whoever must hear instructions from God for this request to be answered, we declare it so. Whoever must be lifted for this prayer to be answered, we declare it so. Whoever must go down for this prayer to be answered, we declare it so. Father, I cry in your name. Let this not just be a ceremony tonight. Your people have waited. Your people have prayed honor the faith of everyone here with strange results in the name of Jesus there are situations here that need creation it does not yet exist in the earth realm we call it from the realm of the spirit to appear in the physical realm in the mighty name of Jesus Christ Lord, there are situations here that only you can solve. Some of them are death sentences. Some of them are issues that relate to life and destiny. We cry to you, O God of heaven, arise tonight and do strange miracles. That by this time, next miracle service, some people will only write to intercede for others. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please keep standing everybody. Keep standing. I want to pray for you now. Thank you for your patience. But I want to speak over your life. And I want you to believe every word. Blessed is she that believes. For unto her. There shall be a performance. I prophesy to you. Number one. Doors be open now. Doors be open now. Gates be open now. Gates be open now. Everyone here in ministry, I stretch my hands towards you. The fire, the grace, Shalakatoskia. The unction for a new level. The operation of the gifts of the spirit. The operation of revelatory dimensions. Step into it now in the name of Jesus. Step into it now in the name of Jesus. Let me pray over your finances. This is a year of extraordinary fruitfulness. I stand by the God of heaven. And I declare by the power of prophecy. Supernatural supplies for you. Supernatural supplies by the wisdom of God. Every 
pit you have found yourself in in the name of Jesus come out of that pit now come out of that pit now come out of that pit now I pray for every family here that has not yet seen the goodness of God in experience this year I speak to you by the power that raised Christ from the dead you will return here with strange testimonies everything that is yours but is not yet in your hands I stand by the God of heaven and by prophecy wherever it is I command you to locate your hand and your destiny I command you to locate your hand and your destiny I pray for those trusting God for jobs father you are the one who gives jobs I declare that between now and the next one month oh God of heaven let us have strange testimonies of miracle jobs strange testimonies of miracle jobs I'm praying for everybody but this prayer particularly is for the men the grace that establishes a man that can grant you stability whether financially structurally may that grace please believe it may that grace land on your life now structural establishment in the name of Jesus Christ every dying business in the mighty name of Jesus hear the word of the Lord I speak by the spirit let it jack back to life now I pray for your prayer life the fire you have not seen from January even up until September the grace to fast the grace to travel wherever you are let it rest upon your life now I pray for you access to the mysteries of the kingdom the grace that can open a man's eyes to scripture that you will see may that grace rest upon you now every opportunity that once came to you but was not well utilized and has left you in the name of Jesus and by the mercy of God I stand tonight and I call for a repeat of it a repeat of that opportunity a repeat of that opportunity may God restore time may God restore opportunities in the name of Jesus Christ every one of your family members that has been grounded for whatever reason in the name of Jesus as you are standing here may the angel of the Lord wherever they are across this nation or around the nations of the world may the angel of the Lord ensure that in this season they are lifted I declare that they are lifted anyone called barren whether biological barrenness financial barrenness ministerial barrenness I speak to you be fruitful multiply replenish subdue I say it again be fruitful multiply replenish subdue every helper of destiny that must show up in this season for you to rise wherever they are I cry unto my God who is your God in the name of Jesus may they appear before your destiny hallelujah some of you have been at the same level you have not gone down but you have not gone up either 
in the name of Jesus, this night, I push you by prophecy. Step into the next level. Help them, please. Step into the next level of your life. This is the month of September. When a woman is pregnant, after nine months, she's supposed to give birth. And if she does not give birth, the doctors have a way of inducing the birth. In the name of Jesus, everything in the loins of prophecy are located for you to be born in this season. I speak to you as a spiritual midwife, deliver in the name of Jesus. Everybody who spoke evil to the ears of your destiny helper, that people who should lift you, but because they had an information about you, in the name of Jesus, by the blood, I declare a reconnection. I declare a reconnection. Our time is gone, but please believe this. These are not empty words. They are not empty words at all. Let me pray for your finances again. This is what is squeezing people down. Squeezing families down. People are giving up on God because of tea and bread. Because of the necessities of life. Listen, Koinonia, I put a mark of exemption in this season over you. Hear me? I command poverty to leave you like the day leaves the night. In the name of Jesus Christ. This is the beginning of the ember months where the spirit of death moves upon families. People who have labored when it's now time to reap, they will say obituary, survive by. I forbid the earth from receiving your body. I forbid the earth from receiving your body. Listen, and for those of you appointed unto death, whether for you or your loved ones, by the name of Jesus Christ, we extend your life in this place. I pray for every student here. I don't know what may be happening around your academics, but if it requires change, we change it now. If it requires upgrade, we upgrade it now. If it requires justice, we administer justice now. If it requires mercy, we provoke mercy now. And everyone who is in final year here, we graduate you in the name of Jesus Christ. prayers and we are done everything that represents delay stagnation or limited progress the chain that will allow you move but not so far I break that chain now in the name of Jesus I release you make progress I release you make progress I release you make progress Last prayer point. Listen to me. Honor is better than money. You can have money and not have honor. Honor is better than education. You can be educated and not have honor. The Bible says, and Jabez, not was more anointed, was more honorable than his brethren. The grace that makes for honor, that can pick you out of a crowd, and separate you in the name of Jesus may that grace rest upon you now every dimension of God has its dynamics of operation you have to understand this in as much as the possibilities of God in Christ are 
unlimited and all available to the saints we may not fully step into the experience of the power the glory the might of god until we understand the spiritual dynamics that control and release these operations hallelujah there are two dimensions of the operation of the word of god and even god the way he operates the first is called the prophetic dimension realities from his standpoint they are always finished his realm is now are we together now god does not operate with time time is not a factor it's not a component in his dealing his personality cannot he does not even exist in the realm of eternity because eternity is also a function of time it's just a summation of infinite dispensations but eternity is also a function of time god dwells in a realm that is neither eternity nor time the name of his realm is now so you don't say god i will no 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 there's no i will there's no i was there's no such thing as that present ever true that's his realm he fragmented himself and created time to help men catch up with the pace of his glory without time we would never be able to know god are we blessed yeah that means that there is the prophetic dimension of spiritual realities but then the second dimension is the experiential manifestation of these realities in our lives here and now so the fact that you find it from scripture the fact that the character of god supports a dimension of spiritual possibility does not mean the saints will necessarily experience it i think this is where most many well-intentioned believers continue to flatter themselves we read we even pray and we anticipate the workings of the word in our life in experience and many times we do not capture the full weight of what the bible intends for us to capture and the reason is because interfacing the prophetic dimension and its experiential manifestation there are dynamics that connect their operation they are called mysteries matthew chapter 13 and verse 11 jesus himself was teaching and he said it has been given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom they are called the mysteries of the kingdom are they they represent a body of spiritual knowledge the modus operandi of the kingdom they are responsible for spiritual manifestations they are responsible for making visible making manifest is the word doxazo the unveiling of the glory of god the multifaceted dimensions of his glory so it is true that god prospers but i may quote that scripture and live my life never having that experience it still does not mean god cannot prosper are we together it is true that god heals it is true that god lifts it is true that there is speed in the kingdom it is true that god restores it is true that god can honor a man all of these possibilities are a reality but connecting them are mysteries and we must be open to not only know the outcome but understand the methodology assigned for their manifestation for instance when you want to rise financially there are many things the bible says a diligent hand for instance shall be made fat is that true yes the bible says how that the lazy man would not sow and his excuse will be the weather the atmospheric condition and he says he will beg in harvest the bible says there is he that scattereth and yet increaseth there is he that withholdeth more than his meat and tends to poverty so knowing that god prospers is important but not enough i must understand the spiritual dynamics that release that reality to be at work in my life are we together now i want to share with us just one key for this morning and then we'll pray that is responsible for causing god to be made manifest in the life of a believer as the god of wonders the thing about god i have learned and i i respect god and i love him with all my heart but i truly fear him 
when you work with god for a while you get to a point where it first starts as confusion because it looks like something about his character his his love the, the synergy between his love and his for want of word his discipline that as wonderful and as loving as god is he can be so silent while a believer wallows in ignorance yet all of these factors his mercy and etc are available the awareness of his love should not make us take god for granted his laws are strict his laws are unbending they require thorough knowledge and they require application to its fullness the glory of god i've said it again and again that the glory of god only shows up as a testament that his patterns have been followed to the latter at the expense of man's eternal doom he sits in heaven love while people flock to hell every day because he's done all to be done to redeem man but as compassionate as benevolent as merciful as he is someone left X this morning and is now in hell and God is still on the throne and he's still called love the awareness of of the power and the respect God has for his word and his principles should cause us to really look carefully that just because God loves us does not mean our lives will continue to receive results indefinitely we must be like spiritual archaeologists searching for the mysteries that control the dimensions we seek to be made manifest in our lives are we blessed yeah. so every dimension of god has its dynamics it must be understood and it must be engaged one of the principles that the bible reveals that is responsible for the manifest power of God for his wonder working power in the life of any believer is the ministry of heartfelt prayer Jeremiah chapter 33 please and verse 3 Jeremiah 33 and verse 3 it says call on to me and I will answer And I will not only answer, I will show you great and mighty things which thou knowest not. You have a responsibility. Your responsibility is to acknowledge your limitation. Your responsibility is to express humility by calling unto me. And my response is that I will answer. The Bible says the Lord is nigh them that call upon him not nigh them that need him he is nigh them that call upon him calling upon the lord is is an art that we must learn we must learn murmuring around god is not calling on upon him now most times just because god is hearing what you are saying does not mean you are praying are we together calling upon the lord does not mean engaging him in a discussion uh -uh calling upon the lord must come with an attitude of humility a recognition that there is a god above you there is a government that you submit to and that it is almighty all powerful able to step in and help call upon me he says and i will answer it's an assurance i will show you great and mighty things which thou knowest not so i can call upon the name of the lord i can cry i can use the mystery of heartfelt prayer to provoke the mighty one from his throne to my situation please do not downplay the power of prayer luke chapter 18 and verse 1 the bible says he spake a parable to the end that men ought always to pray and not to faint and then he paints a very interesting scenario he says um there was a city there was a judge in that city which feared not god neither regarded man may god never make this kind of man show up in your life in the name of jesus what a wicked man that must be you don't fear god you don't regard men then the bible says there was also in a city verse 3 
a widow a helpless woman her system of defense had been gone and the bible says she came to him and said avenge me of my adversity now notice that the woman came with clarity she didn't come and say i'm a widow what can you do for me uh -uh. avenge me my adversary verse 4 it says and he would not for a while but afterward he said within himself though i fear not god nor regard man five yet because this widow troubled me ah did the bible not say give him no rest until he establishes jerusalem that a man can take the incense of prayer and knock on the gate of heaven until god arises and shows up over your situation it says i will avenge her less by her continual coming or importunity she wearies me verse 6 and the lord said hear what the unjudged just said seven and shall not god avenge his own elect which cry not which think not which wish you may be his elect but that cry day and night unto him though he be along with them your assignment is to cry and to stay there to cry and to stay there to hold on to the four horns of the altar lord there is something happening around my domain that is not consistent with your character i have read through scripture and i have seen that the path of the justice as a shining light it does not look so in my life i call upon the government of heaven and you stay there the challenge is most times when we pray we do not sustain the staying power to remain the bible says to cry day and night are we blessed day and night isaiah 7 verse 11 i found this scripture please can we have it on um, to, uh, let's have it from amplified very powerful scripture please don't forget this scripture for the rest of your life because we're about to pray shortly ask for yourself a sign not for your neighbor ask for yourself a sign a token or proof of the lord your god one that will convince you that god has spoken and will keep his word he said ask it either in the depth below or in the height above let it be as deep as shawl or as high as heaven god is daring you he's saying you ask for a sign that means it is not unbelief to say lord bring a token to my life that becomes a consolation to my christian experience i i have not seen the kind of results that i require for my stability and i i provoke your might over my life he's daring you ask for a sign ask for a token ask god to show up like gideon did he says stretch your imagination from border to border take it lord take it high god is able to deliver ask for a sign ask for a sign father you brought me to this city you asked me to come to this city I am 10 years in this city and there's nothing that looks like the goodness of God I ask you to arise and step in and God says in two weeks you will own a house and he said Lord I have 50,000 in my account that's all I have he said I know that that's exactly why I'm telling you this you have you have called forth a dimension of me my goodness and whilst you are there talking with the Lord someone is being someone is 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 waking up from his sleep for your sake and the lord is saying out of the many properties you have give this person one of them and you see when that happens to you do you know listen listen we walk by faith but the end of faith faith must graduate to trust the difference between faith and trust is that faith is purely based on the integrity of god are we together now completely and that's important but trust is based on the integrity of god plus a track record of his faithfulness in your life are we together yeah so the first day they ask your wife to cook for you that's fate you've never tasted of her delicacy so you are hoping she knows what she's doing then when you 
when you taste of it and you see that your wife is good like the lord is good are we together you archive that memory and it begins to grow from one week two weeks after 10 years when you say cook for me you are not hoping she will get it right it has moved from just mere faith to trust you know she's competent but your your even your senses can relate to an experience that attests to the fact that she's that competent david stood before goliath and he said the god who delivered the bear the lion he drew from that he was not just having blind faith like well if no 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 he had this level of certainty and let me tell you this god has an obsession to be believed and if you mean business with him he will he will shift systems and structures to show you how mighty he is because he knows that when you trust him your conviction will compel many to follow him conviction is powerful come see a man come see a man do you not think that someone would have said ah what suddenly happened to you come see a man the man who was healed at gadara went and brought 10 cities 10 cities one man conviction is powerful and we're going to pray father whatever you have to do in my life in this season to give me the kind of conviction that draws men to you are we together now there has to be something spectacular in your life i came to lead us to pray that god will rend the heavens in a spectacular way and reveal his power his grace his glory over our lives our families in a way and a manner that will bring glory to the name of the lord i had the privilege of having a, a very brief and wonderful session with um, one of the fathers of faith in this nation and there were things and testimonies that he told me that by the grace of God even at this level of work with God I had to sit down and it looked like I wasn't born again I said my goodness God is this what you are doing in the life of people you see it is very healthy to be provoked unto godliness there is are we together now yes sometimes we come from backgrounds that have very 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 mediocre references to god that means that you have not seen god do something that will stretch you sometimes god encourages you by taking you somewhere where he's doing big things and it will stretch your faith you will come back and say lord i'm sorry i'm sorry for my perception about you I came to you not wanting to embarrass you with my needs but now I remember that you are able to do exceeding abundantly far above all that I ask and when I'm done asking above all that I think you are still able to do it hallelujah I have made up my mind that as far as God is concerned as far as my faith and my trust is concerned I will not place any limitation on God there is nothing that he wants to do in and through my life that I will not allow him to do. Be careful when you conclude about God. Sometimes we interact so much within the domain of the flesh. We are used to men failing us. We are used to men not being able to do so much. So when we come to God, we come with that same perception. God, is it true that you are able to make a way in the wilderness? Are you aware that the last one year we've had a pandemic on earth are you aware of this then he reminds you that once upon a time samaria was a desolate place to the point that women ate their children we've not gotten that bad do you know the compassion that a mother has for her child and yet two women will come and discuss what kind of hunger will make two women eat a whole child a whole child is how many plates of food and yet they ate that child by the next day they were about to eat the other child there's a name he's called ancient of days that means he's he's seen his creation 
he studied their vacillations and he's been faithful through it all he can be trusted are we together call on to me call on to me concerning that financial situation call on to me concerning this family situation call on to me you are not alone thank god for your intellects hear me the bible says in proverbs chapter 3 when you read from verse 5 he said trust in the lord with all your heart you have understanding but he says lean not unto it because understanding is limited we see in part and therefore we prophesy in part trust in the lord with all your heart then it says lead not on your own understanding it says in all your ways next verse acknowledge him and the promise attaches that he will direct your path the next verse verse 7 says be not wise in your own understanding it says fear the lord and turn away from evil trust in the lord trust in the lord trust in the lord man Imagine. listen these things are testaments to provoke us God is able prophesy to yourself say God is able please say it say it say it and believe what you are saying God is able when you are saying it think about that financial mountain say God is able think about your health situation God is able and he's able to do it speedily because he said what's yes thou are we together now he says i will hasten my word god can give speed of performance to his word i will hasten my word because destiny is measured by time there is a way god can give speed to a man to a people to help you redeem time call on to me and i will answer lord i bring before you my children there is need for your mighty hand upon their lives and he shows up in power lord grant us grace we are unable to focus on the matters of the kingdom because of these bills and these lawsuits and these financial situations and he shows up if you've been evil know how to give good gifts how much more will your heavenly father You stand before that mountain and all you need to do is to call him when he comes you step back and allow him with the mountain and then he will show again that he is God of do you know there's something I have learned about God God likes fighting there is something about God and battles there is something about about the process of victory that brings him profound glory he likes the saints to see the process not just the result so many times he will ask you to watch while he makes a mess of the devil and situations and circumstances do you know it's really not the result that makes you praise him is how the result comes are we together yes most times if he just brings the result you may trivialize how it came so he will allow you to be there and you watch you watch dimensions of his wisdom beating down satan and situations and circumstances at a point you will no longer be interested in the result is a revelation of his glory and his love and his might that overwhelms you you will thank god for the result but it will no longer matter I've seen God do a few things in my life and honestly I can tell you there are things that God has done in my life that leaves me in awe and in wonder and he's given me the grace to preach and teach from the standpoint of that assurance and that confidence I don't claim to know everything about God but sincerely I will tell you there are some things I know one of it is that when god decides to invest his jealousy upon a man get out of the way 
because he will clear anyone and anything that stands that way so when you see god bring his power and his grace upon apostle goodheart upon this great ministry you will where just when you think you've seen it all and then he says no i am god i will show you layers of my glory layers of my power this is very important the jealousy of god is a dimension that has hardly been studied in the body of christ when he says i am a jealous god that is good news jealousy is not a negative quality is what makes you protect and preserve without jealousy you cannot have attention and emotional connect towards anything and anyone hallelujah many of you have So when you lift up your voice that's like a child calling his father if you are a child indeed god should not be silent when he hears you speak if you are a son indeed the bible says that hagar cried together with her young lad and strangely before her voice got to heaven the voice of the young lad had reached the heavens and god came and said what is going on here and she began to lament and suddenly an oasis came out of a desert hallelujah i know that god can arise for those who take him serious those who pray is it all right if we pray this morning it takes discipline it takes faith to pray but i assure you if and when we pledge our lives to pray the bible says the fervent and effectual prayer of the righteous it says it avails much it can produce power it can produce wonders I'm a product of the ministry of prayer I know what prayer can do if you pray and you pray with understanding and pray with faith you will disarm the powers of hell you will allow God to step in in dimensions beyond your imagination was it not in the book of Acts the Bible says how that the apostle was caught and kept in prison and then it says prayers were offered day and night in fact let's look at Acts chapter 12 and then we we'll arise to pray we need the God of wonders to show up for us. Acts chapter 12, we're reading the first 10 verses. Verse 1, please. Acts chapter 12 and verse 1. Now about that time, Herod the king stretched forth his hands to vex Saturn of the church. Verse 2. And he killed James, the brother of John with the sword. And because he saw that it pleased the Jews, he proceeded further to take Peter also. Then they were the days of unleavened bread. Uh-huh. And when he had apprehended him, the Bible says he put him in prison and delivered him to four quaternions of soldiers to keep him, intending that after Easter to bring him forth to the people. Peter, therefore, was kept in prison. But, hallelujah, but prayer was made without season. Key word, without season. Of the church unto god for him and when herod would have brought him forth the same night peter was sleeping between two soldiers bound with two chains and the keepers before the door kept the prison uh-huh and behold an angel of the lord came unto him in response to the prayer and a light shined in prison and he smote peter on the side and raised him up saying arise up quickly and his chains fell off from his hands and the angel said to him gird thyself and bind on thy sandals and so he did and he said unto him cast thy garment about thee and follow me verse 9 and he went out and followed him and wished not that it was true which was done by the angel but thought he was thought he saw a vision verse 10 verse 10 
please listen this is a very powerful mystery without influence you cannot do much for the kingdom you need visibility for your business you need visibility for ministry you need visibility It's one thing to be anointed is one thing to be called but it's another thing to be accepted and embraced that the dimension of god committed to you there is a demand upon it but i tell you in the realm of the spirit there are iron gates just because you left the prison does not mean you are free please keep that scripture there verse 10 he says he came to the iron gate that leaded unto the city which opened to them of its own accord and they went out and passed on through one street and forthwith the angel departed there are people as we pray this morning your businesses you have products and services that if people knew listen my my one of the dimensions of god's wonder that i pray will happen as we pray this morning is the grace for visibility there is a grace that can unveil a man like you unveil a product from a carton and lift him up like a trophy and say hear ye him it's a grace it's a grace that can come as the wonder working power of god whilst we pray hallelujah he says and it was noised abroad that jesus had come your products there are so many people here respectfully speaking you have done your best in terms of your intellectual preparation all you need now is to be connected through the mystery of visibility to the men and the women who need what you stand for and look how difficult it is without that grace there are people today there are people in this nation hallelujah there are people in this nation honestly if this grace should come upon them in addition to the value that they have the demand that will be placed upon your life your children and your children's children will eat from it but that grace is not there so many people die with gifts many people live with gifts there are some of you here you are not supposed to be where you are you are supposed to your your preparation demands that you should be in the palace there are worship ministers all across this nation sincere people well-meaning people but this grace for visibility is not there and they die with their gifts they sing you know i've heard a few people at a personal level and i I'm, I'm in shock why is the world not listening to you i have i have heard and seen men and women of god respectfully speaking i remember meeting i was uh, i think the, the eastern part of this nation and i had the opportunity to talk with a dear woman and whilst we spoke you know i mean this woman came to me for counseling and for prayer but then i just had some time of conversation and i was almost going down my knees to say madam pray for me I'm, i think i'm the one who needs your grace but the grace for visibility please take serious what i'm saying life will be hard until men can see and discern what you represent it was bishop oyedeko that gave a story when they started remember that gave a story Hold like a curtain and boom I know families that are under the siege of this absence of visibility great people wonderful people well-meaning people but doors never open so whilst we're praying I want you to be angry this morning that this iron gate the Bible says he has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in sonder praise the name of the lord yes i believe this you only receive the reward of kings when god connects you to kings you cannot receive the reward of kings in the prison even if you are innocent oh joseph the prison is not the place for reward 
the prison is where both good and bad meet there it's a dangerous place to remain whether you are a wine presser whether you are an interpreter of dreams whether you are a baker if you are in the prison it's a place of confinement but you must trust god for the grace that makes the king to send for joseph and the king sent for joseph and the bible says they brought him out of his dungeon the holy spirit is ministering to someone this morning because the, for you the wonder that god wants to do in your life is to use your life as an answer to someone who whether in the secret or in the open said can anything good come out of this family and they are right except that you came from this conference the god of wonder is about to show up in a way and make a definite statement do you believe that please rise up on your feet i like you to be patient while we pray because we are going to pray prayer is powerful i came standing in faith with the grace over this house so that we will make some things happen in our lives my god is able to do just what he says don't sing listen he will do he's gonna fulfill every promise to you here's your part now don't give up on god because he won't give up on you he's able god is able listen in this bible people had their situations turned overnight they slept as prisoners and by the end of the next day they were in the palace whilst you pray please let your heart be open god you are able to do this for god you are able to do this for your And let us pray so that we can have real results in our lives in the name of Jesus Christ please lift your voice and let's pray in the spirit everywhere inside outside those following online we are going to pray please forget about who is but at your left or right just just lift your voice and pray unto you that answers prayer shall all flesh come Shalebrandos kedeba shalakato sabrande kedeba ladaba shepakato skebanda sedeba laka. Lift your voice and pray. Shata pakato branda gato setele bakata. The God of Wonders. You're not a man, you're not a man, no. Pray, you're the God who opens doors no man can shut. You're not a man, no.
those who are following from whatever nation please take time to pray participate follow in prayer call on to me and i will answer says what things soever ye desire it says when ye pray believe that thou receivest it and thou shall have it meaning you can never have what you have not received you only have what you have received it says what things soever now in one minute I, I like you to lift up your voice that issue of concern that seems to defy the name of the lord in your life in the next five minutes i'd like you to lift up your voice before i bring prayer points lift your voice and cry before your maker in faith knowing that there is a god who can answer go ahead and pray go ahead and pray some of you are trusting god to reveal himself as the god of increase some of you are trusting god for speed trusting god for restoration don't be silent I will lift up my eyes. I will lift up my eyes. Of businesses, the maker of ministries. Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Our Father, hear us from heaven, forgive our sins, we pray. Though we are few, we're surrounded by many who have crossed that river before and this is the song we'll be singing forever holy is the lord Oh, you are not wasting your time, I assure you.
please pray the heavens are open over us hallelujah in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus we're still praying we'll pray for a few minutes and then I'll begin to minister by the Spirit first Thessalonians chapter 2 and verse 18 there are walls we need to break down and trust God to give us visitations first Thessalonians chapter 2 and verse 18 please read with me if you can see ready read wherefore we would have come unto you, even I, Paul, once and again, but Satan hindered us. Wherefore, your breakthrough would have arrived before now. Wherefore, the answer to your prayer would have come before now. The God of wonders being made manifest, but it looked like he was a boss in office. It looked like it was some sort of sociological phenomenon. But the Bible says Satan hindered us are you ready to pray you're going to decree and declare that every hindrance that stands between you and the next dimension that may the god of wonders arise and show up smashing everything that does not name the name of christ lift your voice and begin to pray please pray with faith pray with power pray with faith pray with power every hindrance in the name of Jesus, I come against every hindrance, every mountain. Who are thou mountain before Zerubbabel? Before Zerubbabel, thou shalt be made plain. Career mountains, spiritual mountains, financial mountains mountains stopping your influence and your visibility lift your voice and begin to pray Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Ah! Exodus chapter 14. Exodus chapter After the last plague, Pharaoh let them go. And whilst they were on their way with joy, suddenly Pharaoh said, I made a mistake. I will have to be on my way back. Did you know that what left you yesterday is still looking for you? And the Bible says they got to a point where behind them were a, an angry, angry Egyptian warriors with their chariots. And before them was the Red Sea they needed the manifestation of the God of wonders and Moses said unto the people 
fear not stand still and see the salvation of the lord which he will show you when today you can choose another day but i make up my mind today it says for the egyptians kabaruski avatar this is a word for someone the egyptians the disappointment i know it happened in 2013 14 15 don't get used to pain don't get used to disappointment god is about to show up he said the egyptians whom ye have seen today you shall see them again no more forever verse 14 the lord the god of wonders now there are times that he gives you grace to fight but there are times that he says this battle this battle please take it for me higher guys my spirit is fired up on this altar my deliverer is coming my deliverer is standing by my deliverer is coming my deliverer is standing by your deliverer is coming your deliverer is standing by verse 14 please give it to us the lord the god of wonders there are times listen there are times that he will give you grace to walk on water but there are times you say get out of the way this battle has insulted my reputation in your life stand back the lord shall fight for you your own assignment is to hold your peace hallelujah the lord said unto moses wherefore criest thou unto me i'm standing by the grace of god and in faith with apostle goodhart and his wife he says speak to the children of israel that they go forward you are about to pray don't make this place rowdy but some of you may need to take prophetic steps and you are declaring in the name of jesus i refuse to remain here god of wonders arise push me forward i need advancement in my life is someone praying lift your voice and pray lift your voice and pray it's time to break open break loose from the left to the right it's time to move forward the god of wonders is arising for you in the name of jesus in my spiritual life i'm moving forward i declare that in ministry i am moving forward breaking boundaries in the name of jesus in business i am moving forward someone is praying from the depth of your heart if you can pray god is able to show up as the god of wonders hallelujah in the name of jesus we are still praying first samuel chapter 12 and verse 6 first samuel chapter 12 and verse 6 i sense there is a grace moving someone forward honestly first samuel chapter 12 and verse 6 read with me please if you are a believer ready read and samuel said unto the people it is the lord that advanced moses and aaron and brought your fathers up out of the land of egypt people don't just move forward in this kingdom there is an invisible hand that moves businesses that moves ministries someone lift your voice and cry oh god god of wonders advance me advance me advance me lift your voice and pray it was the lord that advanced moses it was the lord that advanced aaron it was the lord that advanced Rogic. it was the lord that advanced apostle goodhart it was the lord that advanced the membership La 
Capranta Gadava la Cosida. Praise the Lord. You are not wasting your time. Psalm 45 verse 12. Something is happening to someone. Psalm 45 verse 12. I receive it for myself. Psalm 45 and verse 12. And the daughter of Tyre shall be there with a gift. It says even the rich among the people shall entreat your favor. Someone is about to pray. God of wonders, give me visibility. Let the Gentiles come to my light and their kings in this season to the brightness of my rising. Lift your voice and begin to pray. The Bible says the daughter of Tyre will come to you with a gift and even their nobles will entreat your favor. Embrekatos kalebarato zebres kenya. hallelujah 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 please look up one of the reasons why God steps in over our lives is to help us redeem time no matter what you lose if you have time you did not lose no matter what you have if you lose time you lost are we together destiny listen carefully please destiny is a function of time we have time that is allocated and for some reason for various reasons we don't seem to achieve certain things that we should achieve in time so God made provision for two mysteries to remedy that constraint one is called restoration the second is called speed this these twofold mysteries were designed to make sure no matter what happens in time eventually you will find expression we are going to pray these two things it says and i will restore years the first restoration you need is not things i will restore years number two the bible says and the hand of the lord came upon elijah and he ran on barefoot and he overtook the chariots of Ahab even down to Israel you are going to declare restoration and you are going to declare speed my goodness imagine what happens to you when restoration and speed together work in your life are you ready to pray say in the name of Jesus I decree and declare by the spirit of grace that my life is experiencing restoration my life is experiencing speed lift your voice and begin to pray speed speed oh i will overtake i assure you go ahead pray speed 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 in my destiny speed in my life speed in ministry 10 years in one year 10 years in one year speed in business when the reaper overtakes the sower a dimension of speed please believe what you are praying there is grace here believe what you are praying these are not empty words believe what you are praying you are programming spiritual realities I assure you in the name of jesus restoration 
by the God of wonders restoration in the name of Jesus and the fortunes of Job were restored to him the fortunes of Job were restored to him declare speed over your life Lord give me speed give me speed give me speed don't be tired we're praying you came here to pray you came here in this conference to provoke spiritual realities in your life Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Two more prayers. Ah! Calibranda Gatosiata. Esther chapter 6. Esther chapter 6. Something is about to happen to someone. Esther chapter 6 from verse 1. Please give it to us. On that night could not the king sleep. And he commanded to bring the book of records of the chronicles. And they were read before the king verse 2 and it was found written that Mordecai that Joshua Selman had done something before and had not been rewarded that night it was recorded in heaven that you have been faithfully serving as a pastor but your reward is yet to come it was recorded in heaven that you served your boss or your master faithfully isn't it amazing that sometimes you can serve sincerely and men can forget joseph served the wine presser when he got to the palace he forgot him for two years he added two years of pain men can forget but god remembers keep that scripture there the bible says two of the king's chamberlains the keepers of the door they sought to slay the king verse 3 the king said what honor and dignity had been done to mordecai for this listen to me there are times in our lives where we give our best some of us have served people for years some of us raised many children they are in privileged positions today and by some kind of demonic thing the devil turned their minds and their hearts some of them are our own biological children there are people that walk the length and the breadth of this city and you will hear their story that they raise people there are lecturers that raise senators today raise people but it looks like no one is remembering them something is about to happen are you ready the bible says what honor and what dignity had been done for mordecai then the king's servant that ministered to him said there is nothing that has been done i hope you know it was not only mordecai whose acts were recorded there but when God is ready to lift you, He will single you out. You are about to pray. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Father, I declare that the book of remembrance be opened over me, my family, my destiny, and every reward you have preordained, I command it to appear in my life. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Father, for the things that I have done for your kingdom, I gave to the work of the Lord for the things that I have done for your kingdom let the book of remembrance be open please pray let the book of remembrance be open let the book of remembrance be open over my ministry let the book of remembrance be open over my business over my company over my firm let the book of remembrance be open over my family let the book of remembrance be open over my destiny in this
this season arise oh god of wonders arise oh god of wonders show up in a way and a manner that all and sundry will know that god is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him last prayer point listen to me God is almighty but the way he lifts men and the way he honors men and the way he shows up for men is through the ministry of men listen carefully God is almighty but he has so chosen according to his predeterminate counsel that he will need a man to help lift men we are going to pray and provoke by the god of wonders the ministry of destiny help us listen to me there's no time but there are four dimensions of destiny help us that if they do not show up in your life believe me you will never rise not in this life i assure you I wish I had time I would have shown you from scripture but very quickly number one the first kind or type of persons destiny helpers that must show up in your life they are called divine connectors I trust that God will grant us another platform to explain them in detail divine connectors do not have what you need but they know who has it and they can connect you to that person an example was the slave girl she did not have the ability to heal but if the king did not pay at, if Naaman, the Bible says Naaman in 2 Kings 5 was the captain of the Syrian army. He said he was a valiant man in war, but he was leprous. And yet in his house, there was a little slave girl who had the power to link him to the anointing that will set him free. The key to receiving from destiny helpers is discernment because they will come in a fashion that is not easily acceptable. You must trust God for discernment someone can be selling a newspaper in a park and that newspaper can carry the advert for your job you need to discern that this guy was a newspaper seller but there is an angel moving him to me you need discernment number two very quickly you need men of influence there are times that you don't need divine connectors you need the men of influence themselves the protocol of lifting is that you have to be initiated by those who are there already there are times you have the grace and the gift but you don't have a voice yet at the palace you will need someone who is already there to speak for you politicians understand this unbelievers understand this but christians do not understand this oh joseph you can be gifted but you will remain there until someone introduces you to the king and until the king sends for you even though you are called of god you will still remain in the prison men of influence you're a man of god here please pray no matter how anointed you are you need these kinds of people men of influence economic influence sociological influence we live in evil times where people can get up and take advantage of your limitation men of influence number three you need gifted people there are times you just need to get the job done and it takes more than sincerity to get the job done you need gifted people i look around your ministry and i can tell that that grace is so at work in apostle goodheart and his wife gifted people gifted people from the protocol to your worship team and everyone give is a grace i'm sharing it with you so that you covet it it does not just happen these graces are like magnets they call the people to come you don't look for them you won't find them if you find them they will come with a side effect the grace purifies it knows the kind of people that it calls to you gifted people there are corporations that waste money on so many people because they are not gifted they are loyal but they are not gifted 
the last group of destiny helpers you need are burden bearers no matter who you are times will come in your life where you don't just need gifted people you don't need men of influence you need people who can cry with you people like naomi was to ruth i mean like ruth was to naomi you need people who need more than your talent you need people who who want more than i'm telling you what betides a man who does not find a help and a support at your down times not everybody is self-centered not everybody is selfish there are people who genuinely love you and they will not only rise with you they will die with you you need to pray those kinds of people we're about to pray it now because you see the pandemic has almost reset everything again and you will need this group of people to lift you fast so while the divine connectors are speaking to you about speaking to people about what you carry the men of influence are using their track record and their, their credibility to stabilize your stay gifted people are there making things happen and burden bearers are there they are the intercessors they are the people who are not looking for your gifts at all they are there to protect you if these four sets of people show up in your life there is no power in existence that sustains the ability to keep you are you ready to pray so that when you call forth destiny help us that the god of wonder should show up for you first that god will make you one of such kind of people first you can't pray for something that you are not willing to give to make me a divine connector make me a person of influence a gifted person and more importantly a burden bearer and then you can now pray it are we together listen as some of you are praying this prayer can i tell you this whilst god is sending your own help god will be revealing to you what you are and to who you are god can be speaking to you and say from today whilst you are praying you become a burden bearer to apostle goodheart and his wife thank god you are this you are that listen make sure that whilst we are praying you are discerning discerning ministry becomes hard without these combinations there are people who have that grace but there are blessed people all around the city but the spirit of grace has not apportioned them to someone can i tell you this truly speaking there are no greedy people the word greed is a relative word because someone who will refuse to bless you will pursue another person and say take it depends on the grace that is on your head Are you ready to pray say father in the name of jesus i decree and declare that i receive the ministry of destiny helpers lift your voice and begin to mention them please call them to your life you are a worker a member in this church call them in greater measures in this church i call divine connectors show up in my life i call men of influence appear in the name of jesus i call on gifted people show up in the name of jesus i call on burden bearers show up in the name of jesus are you praying ali baratos kanabakatoshiata hallelujah praise the lord praise the lord now listen i'm about to spend the time i have left i know that many of us have come with hunger you're going to pray and ask the lord to give you an encounter within these minutes to visit you can i tell you this sincerely i admit to you that every challenge is relative is relative to the grace that confronts it an age-long captivity can melt overnight i'm hearing a horn really sincerely sir i'm hearing like a horn like a shofar blowing this is what i'm hearing in my spirit and you see in the bible every time a shofar blows is announcing a new season I'm, I'm telling you this believe what i'm saying this is a prophetic word to logic I stand by the spirit of grace and I'm telling you that a new season 
a new season the bible says for us to minister according to the measure of grace i'm hearing a horn it's a new season a season of signs a season of wonders a season of visibility even by the spirit of grace i'm about to pray there are some of you who are trusting god for infirmities in your body you see i hope you don't mistake in what i'm doing for pride this is an election of grace is the privilege of god's grace sir would you be embarrassed if i talk to you i'm seeing a door that has been closed for the last 10 years being opened again to you this is what i'm seeing a door what do you have to do with music i'm seeing a door this was closed by witchcraft for over 10 years and the lord is saying here at this conference i'm opening it again this is what i'm seeing you will never be the same you've touched his grace your life must change you will never be the same you've touched his grace celebrate the god of wonders mighty things are about to happen here Prophesy to yourself now. I will never be the same. I've touched your grace. My life is changed. I will never be the same. I've touched your grace. My life has changed. Hallelujah. Who is grace? Grace, come. In the name of Jesus. I shift you into a new dimension in the spirit. Are you married? Are you married? Where's your husband? At home. Sir. Where is home? He's at home in Abuja. In Abuja here. Yes. Tell your husband the month of March is a month of breakthrough for you. Both of you. God is about. I'm seeing this man cry. There has been help, please. There has been constraints. But God Himself is giving you a visitation even by the spirit of god listen i prophesy to you i don't care what it is that has held you down i stand by the god of heaven here at rogic ria ic 2021 in the name of jesus every obstacle that stands between you and the next level i clear it out of the way in the name of jesus i clear it out of the way i'm hearing a name martha martha please help me guys volume Martha, who is Martha? I'm hearing a name, Martha. We have to be very, very fast. Martha, this is the name that the Lord is giving me. I want to pray for that person right now. That every plague of darkness, every plague of darkness. There's a man here. Please, please don't just come out arbitrarily. You are into oil and gas oil and gas like full time this is what you do i'm seeing someone you're into oil and gas the lord is asking me to pray for you there is there is i'm seeing a limitation in your business who is that person you you're a member of this church okay you just came i want to pray for you sir where are you coming from i live in abuja you live in abuja here i want to pray for you is it are you comfortable that i pray for you sir you see let me tell you this unlike you know most people have a wrong narrative about men of god as though they are there to just hand pick wealthy people and bring to their churches no it's the grace that makes it are we together now yes there is a grace that makes it it's a shame for a man of god to try to look for blessed people no you raise them that's what the grace was made for are we together so we are not teaching some cunningly devised fables or some acts of the flesh no we are people who by the grace of god i assure you that if it's the god of heaven you will be surprised i'm about to pray a very serious prayer there are people today as it is there is nothing in your hand but i give you one month from today by the god that i serve honestly if god be god you will marvel and wonder 
at what happens a month from now you will stand on this altar in the name of jesus christ sir i pray for you in the name that is above all names that every challenge that stands between you and your business in the oil and gas i declare that the spirit of the sea that attempts to manipulate the lifting of people let it go right now i release that grace and sir the lord is saying i should shift you to the next level now step into that level i release grace upon you in the name of jesus you will never be the same go back to the same thing and step into new dimensions in the name of jesus this man too sir please look at me where are you coming from you, you live here sure. there is a man from the south south that god is going to connect huh you understand what i'm saying have you met him we have met you've met with him we work together you walk together that man don't drive him god is going to use him to lift you there is a blessing there i stretch my hands and i pray that the god of heaven will so honor you and bless you and i use two of you as a point of contact for all those who desire this dimension you are trusting god don't be afraid of it we've bullied people in the church to reject influence and we're suffering as a result believe in influence it does not take your heart away from god in the name of jesus i use these great people as a point of contact that everyone who truly desires to step into the oil and gas may this grace come upon you may the god of wonders connect you mysteriously in the name of jesus god bless you sir god bless you sir now i want to pray i'm seeing the lord is revealing to me ah, my sister that lady whose hand is shaking in the name of jesus i'm seeing the anointing coming on her and the lord is saying remember not the former things nor consider the things of old for behold i am doing a new thing i'm doing a new thing i'm doing a new thing sir please come my god yes no 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 yes sir i'm seeing you climb a ladder and the lord is saying the season has come this is what god is saying i should tell you that the season has come father in the name of jesus i'm doing as i have heard uh, every time the lord shows me a man climbing a ladder it means it's a new season for that person in the name of jesus in the open i declare standing in faith with apostle goodheart sir you step into a new season more than all you've seen combined in the name of jesus christ the lord is bringing you into that season in the name of jesus christ now i want to pray a prayer and i want you to bring those people out there is a grace that god wants to reveal in this meeting exodus chapter 3 and verse 21 exodus chapter 3 and verse 21 please give it to us and then we pray exodus chapter 3 let your hearts be open please be prayerful don't be distracted help us media please read with me if you can see ready read and i will give joshua selman favor in the sight of the egyptians and the proof is that it shall come to pass that when ye go ye shall not go empty i want to pray there is a grace that is coming upon people and this grace is for strange dimensions of favor god wants to shift people some of you are representing businesses and families are we together now in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare help me with the symbol please please can you just teach him let him know what to do in the name of jesus right now i declare father even as you have revealed to me i'm seeing the number 28 28 people the hand of god is coming upon them you are drinking of that grace for favor some of you is in answer to the prayers of your loved ones they prayed for a long time that god should bring them into that dimension right now in the name of jesus and at the count of three may that grace come upon you now one two three take that grace take that grace take that grace bring them out take that grace help them please please whether you are an usher or not my goodness my goodness please help them take that grace in the name of jesus here at riha ic 2021 we release favor we release favor we release favor open your mouth and begin to pray as they come out open your mouth begin to decree favor in the name of jesus please bring them out favor favor 
by the supernatural hand of God. Bring them out. We're praying. Madam, what do you do? This woman on green. Yes. Yes, this woman on green. What, what do you do, ma? I'm a psalmist. A psalmist. You sing. I want to pray for you. That scripture in Acts chapter 12, that God would give you visibility. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. Madam, there is a grace. Listen, one of the things I am praying that God would drum it upon you again is that results don't just happen. There are graces that control them. And believe me, if that grace is not there, no matter how you try, it will not work. It's as simple and as honest as that. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands by the Spirit of God. I decree and declare you step into a new dimension of your psalmistry. Supernatural grace for you. In the name of Jesus, supernatural grace for you. Now, I don't know how I'm going to pray this prayer. Please, this is the prayer that will, I will plead with you to be your brother's keeper. Because I'm about to release the grace for speed. Oh yes, sir. There is a real grace for speed. And when I pray that grace, the power of God will come on people and some of them will begin to run. That's why I'm saying you have to be your brother's keeper so that we don't make this place rowdy. Lift your hands. Father, in the name of Jesus, I want you to bring those people out. Here at Riha IC 2021, there are men and women there are destinies and families that must plunge into this grace for speed god of wonders i pray that at the count of three may that mantle and that grace come upon people are you ready now one two three take that grace take that grace speed please help them help them speed speed to your life speed to your destiny Help this man, please. Hallelujah. Sir, you are the pastor that met me. The pastor yesterday. The man from... Uh, Can Canada. I want to pray for you. You came for this conference because God sent you. There is a grace you did not come with that you are going back with. I want to pray for you when i pray for you please i want you to go and meet god's servant let him lay his hands on you believe me when i tell you there is a strange anointing you're going to take back to winnipeg a dimension of ministry will be so open for you in the name of jesus i decree and declare right now by the spirit of god carry that grace in the name of jesus carry that grace walk wonders carry that grace walk wonders by the spirit carry that grace walk wonders by the spirit in the name of jesus christ walk wonders help him please makarish kaniata oh yes it has come you will never be the same drink of that ancient fountain you will go back to winnipeg and in the name of jesus you will set that place ablaze hallelujah hallelujah Who is from Ekiti State? Ekiti State. You are wearing like a yellow dress with a nose mask. Ekiti State. This is what I'm seeing in my vision. Who is that? Please don't tell lies. Make sure that you are really what. Where are you? you are from Ekiti State. Ekiti. Ekiti. Huh? I'm from Ekoro Ekiti. Ekiti State. I want to pray for you because your life is about to change. In the name of Jesus. May that grace now, may that anointing come upon you and end comes to captivity forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. What do you do? Yes. 
Huh? You, are you a pastor? You are a pastor. There is a grace that is upon Apostle Good Heart. I'm seeing something connecting two of you. Mother, what is my this? My mother, my mother. She's my mother. She's my mother. This is your mother. Yes, sir. It's a visitation that is coming for the family. Listen, there is a grace upon Apostle Good Heart. Hear what I'm telling you. You will serve faithfully and God is going to lift you. You will be one of those sons of consolations. Indeed, I stretch my hands. Standing in partnership with your father, the man of God, we release you in the name of Jesus. Supernatural dimensions of grace. Signs and wonders by the Spirit of God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. There's what's oh, I can't remember his name. I think he's a pastor here. Ah, uh, oh dear. Now I can't remember the name. Can I talk to you? Yes. Your life is about to change. Look at me. The Lord says, Don't cry. Oh dear. You see, let me tell you, my brothers and my sisters. You don't know what people are going through people laugh and they just rejoice but there are issues that people have that's why when god creates platforms like this we must maximize it how then do you tell people you met god are we together in the name of jesus madam i pray for you by the spirit of grace it comes to an end right now by the grace of god every reproach every pain I stand by the God of heaven and I declare that help her please it comes to end now in the name of Jesus Christ I'm about to pray for the sick shortly sir what do you do sir the sound engineer engineer can I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ I stretch my hands may the Lord give prosperity to that which you do take that grace go with it excel with it in the name of jesus christ excel with it um please don't be embarrassed before i pray for the sick the lord is showing me something if you are comfortable no problem i'll pray with you you are involved in an estate it's like there's an estate project going on with you but it looks like it's it's been halted for some reason who is that the lord wants to give grace and to advance that work now i'm not saying you are maybe estate agent too i mean you are please let's let's this is the house of the Lord. Let's be sincere. You, sir. You too, sir. Thank you. Honor you, sir. Don't forget to come and testify. You will marvel and wonder at what God does. Who is trying to sell a property they negotiated it and they wanted to cheat you mama look at me don't cry the lord is rolling everything that looks like reproach in your life i don't know you from adam receive that grace help her in the name of jesus christ i give life and strength to you and i call the right persons to your life in the name of jesus christ sir Sir, this is what you do? This is what you do? Yes, sir. In Abuja here? In Morocco. Aha, because I'm not seeing it in this city. I'm seeing you going to one of the, one of the African countries again to do a, like a, a, a real estate project or something like that. When that opportunity comes, pray that God will bring sincere people so that they will not cheat you eventually you understand what i'm saying I, I, i'm not a prophet of doom sometimes i don't even know what i'm saying i'm just speaking by the spirit of god are we together in the name of jesus christ i pray for you sir i release grace there is favor that is coming on you i'm praying i will pray for the rest but the lord is asking me to minister to you in the name of jesus you hold something today that will change your life a token of the spirit that causes doors to open no matter where you go to you will negotiate with people you will negotiate with captains of industry men of influence and governments and no power will shut you down in the name of jesus christ 
in the name of Jesus Christ. My friend, you didn't come out for real estate, oh. you came out for deliverance. Lift your hands. You, I want to pray for you. Look at me. I cast that spirit out of him now. In the name of Jesus Christ, release him, release his family now by the power of the Holy Spirit. You know, my brothers and my sisters, hear me. The devil is a wicked devil. He's an evil devil. And he's only out to steal, to kill, the Bible declares, and to destroy. But scripture declares that I am come, that ye may have life, and that you will have it even more abundantly. You will see a young man like this, and because what I don't want to describe what I'm seeing, I'm not one who wants to glorify the devil. But I'm looking at this gentleman, and I'm seeing serpents from head to toe. This is what I'm seeing. And he just came out to stand for real estate. This has nothing to do with real estate. God just brought you out to help you. I have to pray for you. Do you know it's not normal for someone to intend to bless you and change their minds? It's a very demonic thing. And I prophesy to someone here. Everyone who has agreed to be of help and support. And there are powers attempting to change their minds. In the name of Jesus Christ, every veil that is upon your face causing negative occurrences, I tear off that veil now. I tear off that veil now. I tear off that veil now. Lift your voice and begin to pray. In Jesus' name, I declare my liberty. In Jesus' name, I declare my liberty. Are you praying? Lift your voice and pray. Don't be tired. Hallelujah. Sir, sir, I want to pray for you. Are, are you comfortable that I pray for you, sir? Just where you are, I will stretch my hands. There is a grace that is coming upon you. Please stand up, sir. You don't have to kneel. You are an elderly man. I want to pray for you. And I am seeing that in six weeks exactly, there is a door that if not protected with prophecy, that door will come and it will return you back to a cycle that you are just recovering from. And the Lord is saying, I should pray for you. In the name of Jesus, I declare by the spirit of grace that this time around, may my God honor you. This time around, may my God lift you. In the name of Jesus Christ. My dear, wh why is she here? Part of those who fell under the anointing. Stand up. Your life is about to change. Eh? I'm seeing, look at me. I'm seeing what was on Queen Esther on you shout you're a member of this church you're, you're, you're so, you see why it's good to invite people it's not just about wanting membership you invite people because it's an opportunity it's an opportunity for an encounter don't cry the lady is crying she knows what I'm talking about look at me shout Jesus as loud as you can in the name of Jesus I declare this grace upon you that was on Queen Esther. May that grace come upon you for the sake of your family. In the name of Jesus Christ. A lady will shout in the congregation, very loud shout to the hearing of everyone. Please carry her and bring her here. Uh, honestly. All of you who are involved in real estate, as, as I said, and, and, and have come out in the name of Jesus I stand by the God of heaven and I pray, I speak over your life that in the name that is above all names. Mama, please, when I'm done praying, I want you to please go to the woman of God. The Lord is instructing that she will lay her hand on you. I don't know why God is giving this instruction. Let's just obey it. That God, the woman of God will just lay her hands on you. I declare open doors open doors please believe it say amen open doors i declare by the spirit of grace that anybody who fights you goes down instantly anybody who fights you i say it again goes down instantly anybody who fights you goes down instantly anybody who fights you goes down instantly, goes down instantly. and every approval um what is the forgive me I'm, I'm still new what is the regulatory body for maybe housing and f something who has a problem with them there's somebody who has that you huh that's why the god brought you out here what what's the issue 
and he keeps reporting our house to them that they should check our papers and they are coming now to harass you that's why god brought you out i don't know anything about you or the regulatory body in the name of jesus god is raising a helper to help you you see the, the teaching on destiny helpers is for you because the truth is that with what i'm seeing you know you don't have the power to defend yourself but may god send you help from zion when apostle goodhart came up here he, he spoke that scripture it was prophetic to send you help from zion in the name of jesus send you help from zion send you help from zion for you and your family we, we take away shame and reproach in the name of jesus in the name of jesus in the name of jesus um there are two ladies i'm seeing god is healing you right now from a lump lump in your breast we'll, we'll pray now i just have less than 15 minutes and we're done i hope i'm not wasting your time praise the lord is this your wife husband and wife come your life is about to change please just clear the way for them husband and, don't cry sir oh dear apostle good heart thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you for providing this opportunity when you see a couple crying like this they are not children they know what it is you see there are times even jesus wept there are there are issues that you have sometimes you just sit down and you're crying please don't cry what do you do sir I'm see ah hold on okay this is what God thank you thank you how kind I'm seeing you I'm seeing you do things is it like events or interior like you are you are who is that we work together we work together you work together yes sir. but I'm also seeing you with a Bible I'm a pastor okay I want to pray for you Apostle sir, one of the things I sense God is doing is looking for your leaders and just bringing consolation. You notice God began to do this yesterday. Now, that doesn't mean if I don't call you, you are not faithful. Don't get me wrong. You don't have to be called. I'm just, it's just, these are signs. These are signs. Father, what's his name what's your name sir Tulu, Tulu and esther in the name of jesus i'm releasing an anointing on both of you god will shift you to new dimensions as a couple right now in the name of jesus take that grace fresh fire in the name of jesus drink of that wine drink of that wine i open you up to strange businesses in the name of jesus christ strange businesses help them please in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ where's the gentleman there was a gentleman who was oh dear i can't remember his face he was leading uh, worship here at the time i think he's in the choir help, help this lady one of these men yesterday he was here is he here he didn't come come on my brother your life is about to change what's your name sir i hope you are not embarrassed can i pray for you what do you do I'm a pastor here. Ah. You, are, you heard the choir. Ah. Don't feel bad, eh? But this is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing someone take you to Dubai just to bless you and bring you back you go and write this if this doesn't happen go and look for a newspaper and say a, a stupid man came to lie to you this is what i'm seeing that god I'm, I'm this is what i'm seeing because i opened my eyes and i saw you in dubai and maybe for like maybe an all expense paid trip just to bless you to honor you for what you are doing i stretch my hands receive that grace all kinds of favors help him in the name of jesus believers hear me do not listen to people who make you look stupid for serving in the house of God. It truly pays 
to serve Jesus. It may not look like you are getting rewards every day, but the day God decides to shake himself on your case, you will marvel and wonder at what he does to your life. Look at the gentleman crying. So I bless you in the name of Jesus that as you continue to be loyal and faithful, I declare, even as God has spoken, I declare that your time has come. Who is Jennifer? Jennifer. I'm hearing a name Jennifer. I'm hearing a name Jennifer. You are the back. You are the back. It's, oh dear, there's no one like that. No problem. Are you sisters? She's your what? because God wants this girl you see as little as she is there is grace on her what am I seeing her do is I'm seeing her washing plates what does she do she's my, she's, she's my housekeeper like she's, she's a housekeeper yes. look at she's crying oh dear young lady listen to me I want you to be faithful serve this woman there is something that God will use this woman to do in your life in the name of Jesus listen it doesn't matter how big or how small the place of service is there is a deception that we have that until you are busy until you are seen no matter how even if you are the one who cleans the pulpit and no one sees you I assure you the all-seeing eye of God I'm saying this as an encouragement I'm sure that there are people maybe who are working maybe traffic control outside they may not have the opportunity to come and sometimes the devil deceives us into believing help that man help that man there is a grace that is coming I pray for you my dear you will be a very great lady God is lifting you and you will help your family be faithful be true madam please help this girl you hear what i'm telling you because you are very kind i'm looking at you and i'm seeing something that was on naomi in the bible you know a woman called naomi in the bible naomi not the one that was with ruth oh. naomi in the book of acts go and find out about her i'm seeing that same grace on you in the name of jesus i bless you and i bless this our dear one in the name of jesus christ my dear Look at me it comes to an end now i stretch my hands out now in the name of jesus everything that has not been planted by my father over your life and destiny in the name of jesus i am agreeing with you right now we uproot it right now we uproot it we uproot it in the name of jesus christ Let's pray for the sick now. Please, if I've prayed for you, you can just go back to your seat so that we can just decongest this. Madam, please don't forget, um, the Lord gave an instruction. You can just tell to the woman of God so that she would lay hands. I saw this in the spirit. Hallelujah. How many of you are trusting God for a miracle in your body? refuse to allow sickness have its toll in your life please i want to pray for you now please don't miss this night by the grace of god i'll be sharing something the lord put in my heart and then we'll take the time to be ministering to the sick and if it's usually now i have to seek for permission if apostle goodheart allows me sir i want to plead for a permission that the people come with prayer requests is it oh thank you thank you now please this is what I want you to do this evening. Please invite as many. I want you to write. I want you to write a request of what must leave your life that you will never see again in your life. According to Exodus 14, 13 and 15. Please, for you and for your loved ones, do your best to invite your loved ones. Come early. And even if you they are not able to come, those who are far, please you can. I'm sure that the media... The Rogic media there should be a way of collating the request of others who your your global family please the media you may maybe project an email address so that those who need to send their prayer requests this evening they, they will come with it everyone write your request 
now what will happen is when you come with it somewhere in the course of the service as i minister we are going to have them here and we'll pray except god is not god but believe me that everything you write on that request you will only watch it for the last time and that as you wave it prophetically you are waving it goodbye for sure in the name of jesus the christ of god i don't know if i prayed for you but in the name of jesus madam the woman read i want to pray for you what i'm seeing like oil being poured on your head this is what i'm seeing and the lord is saying he's bringing you to a new dimension of wisdom i stretch my hands and i pray the wisdom of the spirit please help our wisdom take that grace you will never be the same go and do extraordinary things even by the spirit hallelujah one of the things i trust that god will do this night also is impartation the transference of graces please as much as possible and with all humility you know a man of god that needs some of this grace see the goal the days of superstar christianity is over when god grants grace we are only stewards by grace and we are supposed to be conduits that it will reach as many people there is no joy in saying only one or two or three people no no those days are over the body of christ is coming to a level of maturity where our joy is not in our exclusive manifestation but that the body of christ as a corporate entity is rising are we together now so there are people you know who need certain impartations there are leaders some of them are politicians it takes more than more than political diplomacy to rise it is always the king priest prophet formation and there are times people need these graces to push them please invite them all roads tonight leads to rogic riha i see those who are online if you're within the abuja metropolis there's no reason why you should follow online there's still space you come first allow those who are who are who are who cannot come here because of distance to follow but you are watching me you are following i'm encouraging you and extending a personal invitation on behalf of apostle goodheart and his wife this evening what what time is 5 30 is when it starts not when you should come you should come and be praying spiritualize your mentality cry with a desperation are we together by god's grace will blow the roof off this place this evening in the name of jesus let's trust that god will give a grand conclusion to this this sacrifice right from sunday even up till today are we blessed lift your hands everyone i decree and declare over your life in the name of jesus for some of you between now and the evening you're returning with supernatural testimonies and i mean it from the depth of my heart in the name that is above all names i pray for you this lady two of you hold your hands together these two yes hold your hands and lift it father please forgive me forgive the way we, we we're just is is how sometimes the ministry of the spirit two of you in the name of jesus i'm agreeing with you grace there is an unction from the spirit that is coming on both of you and as a woman of god is laying her hands on you we declare i agree an impartation of that grace receive it right now this grace will open strange doors you are receiving it is coming on you now it's an oil that will distinguish you it will distinguish you in a way that you will marvel and wonder in the name of jesus christ praise the lord now um i'm particularly those who are in politics and governance particularly please if you can get the attention i want you to invite them here we want to pray for them there is a reason why governance now takes spiritual intelligence are we together now there is a grace it's about humility you see if god does not empower you you don't have it the church is the only place where that grace is dispensed you don't get it any other place it's not given in schools you get education but not empowerment there is help that lady there is an engracing you see there's an anointing coming you will probe now and find out maybe there's someone in her family that is connected to politics it is our pride that makes simple things look difficult sometimes the church is a blessing 
and we don't demean or downplay your pedigree but you must observe the spiritual protocol that leads to greatness so this evening captains of industry this evening business people this evening nobles the kings of this territory i like you to invite all of them extend apostle goodhart's invitation let them come and let them come on time jesus is about to come and show up as the god of wonders in the name of jesus christ i pray for you that reproach is gone forever for you and for your family let doors be open in the name of jesus let doors be open in the name of jesus let doors be open in the name of jesus the lord is showing me an honorable member that is coming this evening i'm saying it as a sign and a wonder an honorable member that is coming god wants to give that man a visitation i'm not saying it on air i'm saying it so that when so sometimes we say these things so that you you don't think that it's some made up maybe we're trying to cook up something no 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 i'm seeing the evening meeting and i'm seeing that there is an honorable member like a, a political one of these uh is a politician Which constituency, sir? What do you have to do with Kogi State? I can't hear you. I'm saying this is what I'm not Kogi, hearing. I'm from Kogi. You are from Kogi? I represent Kaba. Kaba, Kaba what? Kaba I'm not from Kogi. I'm seeing Kaba on you. Yes, sir. I'm from Kogi. Is it true, sir? Apostle yes, Goodhart. Sir, you are just beginning your political career. Be believe me when I tell you. This will not end just. Yes, I stand by the God of heaven. You are just beginning your political career i'm speaking to you by the grace of god you will marvel and wonder at the way god will begin to navigate you through the bureaucracy of politics and bring you to the place of prominence this i speak by the spirit of god and i say it in the open in the name that is above all names we stand as the church of the lord jesus christ we decree and declare but this is not the man i'm seeing no in the evening this one you just provoke the anointing to speak to him but this is not the honorable member i'm seeing in the evening hallelujah let people know once again that there is a god that reigns are we together now in the name of jesus christ we have to close father we give you praise we bless you for your faithfulness these three ladies hold your hands and lift them this ushers right now i'm seeing grace take that grace three of you there is an anointing that is coming on three of you you will never be the same in the name of jesus you this lady two of you right now take that grace i stretch my hands upon you and i declare you are stepping into untold dimensions of favor two of you in the name of jesus drink of that wine drink of that grace in jesus name i bless you and i declare that the remaining part of your day up until evening is blessed in the name of jesus christ as you do the work of an evangelist for tonight may my god bless you i declare that the god of wonders is showing up in your life giving you testimonies in the name of jesus christ god bless you and see you in the evening dearly beloved I hope you were blessed by this message. I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salman. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him, that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here. Don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing, keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing Jesus. I'll see you again. Bye.